book like that <laughs> Hannah and I did, you're already in for this. But also we have got, what were you calling the, what were we calling those again? The pomandas. Pomanda, yeah. that's it. They're in there because they, because they smell festive. So I'm going to let them out oh. now and uh, display them over let there. Let the pomandas <laughs> out of the bag. So we have got for you um, some really gorgeous, oh, the waft of festivity. Uh, it <laughs> smells like mulled wine. So we've got two incredible kits for you that we just know are going to sell out. We just do. We've got some incredible, incredible um, products here. I've got an array of fabulousness, quite frankly. Um, we're going to give you downloads for both of the kits as well. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. It's Saturday. It's jewellery making Saturday evening. Where else would you want to be? Don't be flicking your TV over. There's not much on anyway. I'm going to start. We're, well, we're going to start by asking Ben if you can make it colder in here because it, it. I mean, it doesn't it's feel like it doesn't feel like we're outside, <laughs> that, that, does it? Thank you, thumb of Ben. Thank you for giving us a thumb. Could you? Uh, he's given us a little thumb. Could you? Um, could you turn the air con on? It's ever so hot. Now, we are going to start the show with something that I think is very festive indeed. Um, a, a gorgeous strand that you could just make into, um, into bracelets. Now, I think the first thing to note about this strand is the fact that it's a really different shape and size to anything that we've got here or anything that we've seen. Well, anything for, for sure I'm speaking personally. Um, have a look at this because I bloom in love this. Now, I'm going to lay these down flat, but when you spike them up, you get the most amazing effects and I'm thinking perhaps you could put these in the back of shoes um, spiked up there's a certain very expensive trainer company that do that something quite a similar shape to this can you see how they spike up beautifully isn't this lovely Hannah I mean gosh doesn't it add a lot of luster a lot of a lot of a wonderful wonderful metallic sheen going on there I'm really, I'm really trying to work out what it's hematite, so it is. No, I mean the shape. It says hexagon, but it's kind of. It's, I wouldn't call these a hexagon. Well, they're I'd tapered as well, aren't they? So they're fabulous. They are a bit like a paddle. Um, I think these are fab. I'm a big oh, fan yeah. of these because they're very, very different. And wouldn't these make great um, festive pieces of jewellery? Great for the office Christmas party. Definitely perhaps. good great for parties. For, yeah, and these would be sparkle. amazing for earrings. Yes, definitely. Lots of, lots of, lots of shimmy, a lot of shine, a lot of sparkle. Gold, oh, of course. So, yes. You know. <laughs> I think these are fantastic, I do. Fabulous. Are you ready? Nine ninety five for these. QYP O thirty one. So you've got hematite in it here. Uh, demagnetized. Let's just double check. Yes, it is demagnetized. Uh, and these are all six millimeters. Uh, you've got quite a long strand here. I don't know why we're giving you. We're giving you an inch. We've gone really to town with the old uh, with the old measurements there. Uh, I just measured myself, didn't I? Well, I didn't measure myself, <laughs> but I'm on one hundred and seventy one centimeters, which I was quite chuffed with. <laughs> Oh, 161, sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to say oh, it you were disappointing. <laughs> ah, well, you are what you are. Uh, that's sold out. Lots of you shopping with us. Uh, good evening. Don't forget to text us in. We'd love to hear from you this evening. The text number is 60777. Please start your message with the word JM Studio and then follow it with a fabulous message. We'll read it out live on air as long as it's clean. Then it will be seen. Um, now, I'm going to give to you... Where are my Baroque pearls? Where have they gone to? Ba -ba 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 I haven't got them. We'll have a look at those in a minute. Um, now, there's three ways to shop with us here at Jewelry Maker. You can give us a call 0800 644 655. You can get online, jewelrymaker.com, or you can download and tap the app. Which uh, All of those ways are free. So to shop with us is for free. If you're shopping from abroad and you'd like to interact with us, go on to the website, go to the schedule, go to watch us live, and then there's a little uh, message to studio tab that you can click. Now, let's just clear a few things up that will delight you massively. Three pounds and 95 pence is your PMP from midnight until midnight so if you shop this morning then you can shop all the way up until midnight tonight and you won't be charged any more PMP it doesn't matter if you load those baskets up with Hannah and I wouldn't you can't do that but if you did hypothetically speaking um, now everything that comes with uh, everything that comes with um, Everything that you buy comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, I don't know if you saw this, but last weekend, this is your first star buy, last weekend I went to the Spirit of Christmas. It's an exhibition um, at the um, at Olympia uh, where there's a lot of people selling their Christmas wares. It is all about the big textured pearls. Now, I put on my Facebook page um, lots of examples of this. Now, they were expensive. And we saw, because I've seen um, some very 
very different shapes of pearls here at Jewelry Maker. And I thought, wow, mm. you know, ones that are sort of round there and they sort of um, have that wiggly bit at the end and yeah. they're big. I thought they were everywhere they were. And I thought, Fantastic. oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Because I thought, okay, I, I, I hadn't, I was yet to see them in jewelry out there. They are everywhere. And it's all about big, expressive pieces of jewelry with pearls just like this. So I'm going to turn it over. So um, that texture is what, is what was being looked for in these pearl pieces. It was about having that texture. But look, you've got sterling silver here with that star in the center. I think this gives off a lovely message. And it's your first star by coming up at half past. Uh, so let's, let's crack on, as they say. And let's go to our next delight with now. I've seen, um, so we've got a donut shaped bead. I've seen on our Facebook page, um, the amazing seed beads, uh, bead work done with these, where yep. the seed beading yep. is around the middle and around the edge. Was it you that did that? So, we're, well, there's been a number of us that have, that have tackled the donuts. So that has been, Tackle uh, the Kleshner has, I yeah. think Sheila has, I have. Um, but we've all done slightly different things yeah. with it. Well, there's so, so much you can do. Yeah, yeah, because you, you you can bead around them, you can bead through them, yeah. or you can do a lark's head knot and just have it like a pendant on a on a piece of thong or something. So, so it could be a real beginner's statement piece that you make, but it could be somebody that's uh, quite advanced in their jewellery making. It so really could. having an ingredient like this in your stash is going to take you to a lot of different places. Having that ingredient as rose quartz, they say that this is the gemstone of platonic friends if you believe in your uh, in spirituality of gemstones four pounds and 95 pence is such a fantastic value price because if you look for this kind of price if you went out and you try and seek 60 carats of rose quartz firstly I think uh, outside of jewelry maker I think you're going to pay a premium price for that and I don't think it's anywhere near the price that's on your screen just now I love the fact that you're getting super value and not just you know just a little bit of rose quartz you've got a substantial large piece of rose quartz here and you can feel it you can see it it's smooth it's gorgeous it's got that element of decoration if you're going to and and uh, that element of um you, you you've got a lot of places to go in your jewelry making with uh, elements like this yeah you, you can really sort do, of you? toy around with seed beading like you said you can toy around just with with cord so you know this is really going to take your journey so much further it does look like that's just gonna sold out um, now sorry repeat that Ross um, we're going to, in fact, let's stay on the rose quartz journey because if you were going to do something like one of those necklaces and you thought, no, do you know what? I, wa I want to add a few more beads in there. I'm, go I'm going to do something like a, maybe, maybe a loose knotting. Then this is yeah. ideal to go together with that. Like a rosary link chain or something to, to spend You it could from. do that, yeah, yeah couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, but I think quite. Um, I think when you've got brace, when you've got bracelets like this, when you've got strands <laughs> like this, you could make um, really easy bracelets. And I think pearl knotting is a great way to do that. Stretchy bracelets is a way to do that. So just with some elastic, how great would it be as a stretchy bracelet, as a feeding bracelet? If somebody's going to have a baby girl, this would be a great thing to offer, to give to them Aww. as a gift or to sell feeding bracelets. We know out there right now. So a feeding bracelet, if you didn't know, is something that um, a, a mother who's feeding her child would um, would put on to one side depending on which side the child's fed so that you can remember because obviously oh, we know I what it's see. like having okay. young babies you forget you know even if you brush your teeth that yeah. day I wondered if you, if you were getting if it was something like you know amber is supposed to help with them um, well exactly and things yeah like that. so so it's it's got a, a soothing kind of effect yeah well, yeah. well do you know and I think a lot of um a lot of mums now are trying to get get things earthy and be you know mm. be at one and we're seeing a lot of, of children now yeah. babies in particular wearing those amber bracelets because it's said to help soothe with teething so if that's your business as a jewelry maker if you sell those kinds of things then this this could be a great idea for you you could be offering feeding bracelets as well j-a-k-y-64 but of course there's so much more this gemstone could be it this could be just one in each ear for a, a pair of earrings you could like you say rosary link this it could be just one of these suspended on a chain would be just just beautiful and stunning so you could make i think potential profit it's out of this if you if you uh, if you do buy from us to sell on because that's something that we absolutely encourage here at jury maker jak in fact that's what this weekend is all about isn't it jak y 64 there's only one of those left now so please make sure you do check out baskets don't leave it in a basket because we can't guarantee that you're going to get it now and don't forget because you don't get charged the extra p and p you might no, as well just no, keep, no, checking, great, out, keep it? checking out keep checking out now we're gonna go Oh, I'm, like I'm looking for. Oh my gosh! 
So we've Peeling seen... Peeling over your shoulder at this one. Well, yeah. indeed. And now, Grand Idea, right? Now, this is on the Mose scale, isn't it? Is that right? On the, on the Forbes list, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I always get those. What, Jenny? Um, it's funny because I get Coventry and Cambridge mixed up and it's the same thing there. So um, this is one of the rarest okay. gemstones there are. <laughs> We've seen a lot at the moment with gallery wire, with prong setting. It's been a real feature here at Jewelry Maker. So if you've bought any of Alison Tara's DVDs, this is going to be great for you. If you've been watching during sort of high-end weekends or events, you've seen some gallery wire in sterling silver or gold on silver. Uh, now, we, we have a very low stock amount of this. We are giving you Grand Didier right. This is such a super gemstone. It is a rare gemstone. Now, I hadn't heard of this when I came back. Um, here to Jury Maker. This is not something we stocked uh, before I left. So, uh, and we, we haven't had a lot of Grand Idea, right? If you go and search it, you'll see very high end, expensive pieces of jewelry out there, including this incredible gemstone. These oval cabochons, you're going to be guaranteed nine carats. This is the one you're going to get. Uh, a pack of three is exactly. Now, we are really low in stock. We only have a few of these to go around. So you're gonna to have to make sure you put this in a basket fast. Remember, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. Look at that color. It's incredible. It is the, I think it's the only stone I've seen in that kind of lovely sort of tealy deep color. It's, it's just beautiful, isn't it? And uh, like, can you imagine that as a, like a, a beautiful ring and then a pair of earrings to go? It's just so amazing and uh, so unusual. And that's exactly what you can do, Hannah, because you have got two exact same size yeah. and then the one slightly larger oval. Now, if you are going to be using your silver clays, this could be the opportunity for you. If you're going to be using, um, we had Elizabeth on Monday, didn't we, last Monday? With the Argentium. With the Argentium. Oh. Perhaps that's something you want to incorporate into your Argentium. It's, it's going to be those high-end techniques that you're using, whether it's high-end gallery wire, prong setting. Uh, now, we've only got one of these left. £502.95 pence is not your price. We've only got one left now. These have all been allocated in baskets. There's only one left. We do take a uh, credit card or debit card and we also we also offer you uh, the ability to wow. use paypal now my paypal i can't speak for everybody's paypal but my paypal allows me to spread the cost on some items most items oh, it asks me do idea. i want that yeah. well Perhaps you could do that with this. T-A-J-N-81. I don't know if you can, but perhaps you can. $129.95 with a 30-day money-back guarantee. We invite you to go and get this valued. We, of course, offer you for an extra 25 pence a certificate of authenticity. You can download that and print it out for free. Now, that's gone and sold out. Well done. Jealous. I know. I Jealous. I we'll see something like that again. Awesome. I, oh, I awesome. kissed it. Sorry, I kissed it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at that pearly. Um, do go on, do go on my um, Facebook page, Jenny Cleary Presenter, and have a look at the post from last Saturday. I did a whole video. It did go on for quite a long time, but I also took pictures, so you don't have to. What do you mean? No, <laughs> it didn't, did it? I basically was on my own because my friend was working there, so I just used Facebook Live as somebody to talk to oh, while I was going around. Oh, Jen! That, because I can't be in my own company without talking. I talk to myself all the time. Okay. I talk to the dog the whole time I do the dog walk, and people jog past me like, all right, because I'm like, oh, Maeve, look, there's six magpies over there. We like magpies, don't we? And people are behind me, and I don't know. <laughs> this dog's thinking, oh. They might just be thinking, oh, she's really in tune with her pet. <laughs> <laughs> no, they look at my dog's face. She's like this. <laughs> okay, let's give you a reminder of our star by... We don't have lots of these and they are so right. Now, if you've got a Christmas fair coming up and you feel like you could offer a few more pieces, just pop this straight on a chain, then you don't have to worry about the time it's taken you to make that piece of jewelry, but you could really add a premium onto that price, I think. Uh, it's a great opportunity for you coming up in just 15 minutes time. But we're gonna, um, oh. Now this could be, She's oh. squeaked. What are you squeaking? Well, I'm squeaking. See. You'll see why. Oh. I need a little clothy McClotherson. Have you got um, a clothy McClotherson, Ben? Because I've got my paws no, ooh, all no, over that's this. A scouring one. I don't want that. I've got okay. A sack. Okay, I'll take your sack. Thank you, darling. Uh, so <sighs> that'll do it. I do apologise. We used to have little clothies, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's still one around somewhere. Ah, oh, never mind. Look we don't need that. it now. We're fine. Right. So Aww. solid sterling silver. 
If you've got the Dremel, you so need to engrave on this. I love it. It's got the 925 stamp there. So this could be the bougiest pet present for Christmas. You could have your pet's name scrolled across that, but it also could be if somebody has lost a pet that was dear to them, you could get them something really special for Christmas and have that name engraved. Or, or it doesn't, you don't have to have lost the pet. It could just be that that's your fur baby or your sister's got a fur baby or your mum's got a fur baby and you want them to have it in a pendant. How lovely would that be? If you've got the Dremel, you could put a drill hole in this, but you could equally just put a jump ring in there at the end there where the paw is and have it offset. Shall I show you like that? So it could be, you know, offset like that on the jump ring. That would be probably the easiest like option, idea, wouldn't yeah. it? And I think hearts offset look, look really yes, quirky. They They're do, nice and contemporary, they? aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Isn't did you that see, we did, we did a show a while ago where I think it was Alison uh, Tarry that did... Um, Collars and bracelets that match. I heard match. about this. It was amazing. Well, you, you could get two of those, and if you're going to personalise them, you could have matching ones for yeah. you and your pets. I love that <laughs> idea. Oh, sorry, I get squeaky when you talk yeah. about the pets. Only, only the dogs squeaky. Cats can hear that. If I put that on my cat, she would literally like she hates collars. You can't oh. mess with that cat because she will kill you. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-five pence. <laughs> That's what I love about her. Wow. on the end. No, I love her. She's so cute. Uh, but also quite killing. Uh, message come in. Hi, Suzanne from Nottinghamshire. Hi, uh, good evening, Jenny, Hannah and crew. Nottingham has a fantastic Christmas market. Oh. It's called the Winter Wonderland. I'd love to go. I would as well. I've not, I've not been to one there. I'd love to go. It's so we, we have away, Winter the Wonderland in... Yeah. No, not from here. No. About an hour, isn't it? Not even that, no? Yeah, well... Maybe an hour. Kind About of an hour. Leicester and keep going, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think that's far away. Oh, can you go on a day trip? Let's do it. Let's do it. We've got Winter Wonderland in London, but it's so expensive. Yeah, I've seen, I've, I've seen that one. That so one expensive. Yeah. Like, if you asked for a cup of tea, they'd be like, that's £12, please. You'd be like, <laughs> it's not. Not a Christmas anyway. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. You didn't want a cup of tea anyway. No, did you? I don't want it. <laughs> I'd rather have tap water. <laughs> I'm not paying that. Uh, next up, uh, we're all... Oh, so you're going to really like you this. Ooh. We've got some sunstone um, and you can really see the copper inside here. You can really see the shine. I think, though, you could use these in a masculine way. But look how look how thick these are. I'm going to keep these on the board, if you don't mind, for a minute, because I'd say you could gallery wire that. Look how thick some of those edges are. Yeah. Now, that's not that's not a usual occurrence for sunstone to have it so thick and to have it in these big pieces and I think that means then that you can have a ring out of this and I think that would be lovely I like looking at sunstone because I think it gives you something else doesn't it look at those apricot tones they're really in for the winter what about Hannah putting those with some smoky quartz oh absolutely I mean if you if you go for sort of like think of sort of warm sort of kind of cognac colors you can put gold and mm, coppers in there with yeah. it yeah if, if you wanted to you could put navies next to it that would really make it stand Ooh. out oh you are good with color you are Fundamentally, it's, it's, I suppose base, base colour would be orange, maybe pink. Of course. Yes, yes, you're right. So, so I think navy's a good one to go with it. Oh, but you are I, good. Yeah, I think you could do loads with that. I want to take Hannah well. shopping with me and you could dress me because you always look fabulous. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I am so bad at home decor and putting clothes together. Those are my two things I just am no good at. I have to literally get advice on all of those things. <laughs> oh, now, no. Do you get that at home? Do, like, when you're making jewellery, do you... See, I like to get kits and things because I think it... Uh, you know, the colourways are done for me so I don't have to think, oh, is this going to look like a dog's you dinner always, at the you end? You always look at the mannequins and things that, like, that have been designed to, mm. to sort of attract you or they would, quite often... If if you, if you really look at mannequins, they're wearing like three times more clothes than actually you would wear. So it's really? all about the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, about yeah. The like they might have three scarves on and, you know... A couple, a couple of a couple of vests underneath you, this, this sort of slouchy jumper and things like that. So you have to oh. experiment with clothes in the same way that you do with jewellery. I don't want to add any more bulk to this. <laughs> now, what's she like? <laughs> oh, Ben's good at shopping. You always look fabulous. In ben fact, he's always very stylish. Actually. Both of my children yeah. remember Ben because mm. of his outfit. He once wore a Power Rangers outfit. <gasps> and when I came back here, they said, "Is Ben there, the Power Ranger?" And I said, "Yeah, he's still there." They love, think, they love Ben. I think, I'm sure I've seen, now, it's, it's tartan trousers I've seen him in, and yeah. there's a velvet jacket that I've seen him in, and yeah. he rocks them both, they're great. Oh, he does. You can carry it, boy. Thanks. He can carry it. He is a model. Do you still do that modelling malarkey? No. No, why not? It, did, did it go to your head a little bit too much? Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's good. <laughs> he couldn't take the fame. 
He used to be an ASOS model. Other other fashion outlets are available. Uh, here we go. Way to hide now. No, you scared him. Away. No, <laughs> nothing scares him. Now these, I think, we look at and we think, okay, these are the things we can rely upon when we when we shop at a jewelry maker. We can rely on getting big pieces of agate. These are kind of crocodilia. That's I, what I'm going to call I, them. I was going to say that. Like these, to me, they've got sort of an animal print kind of thing going mm -hmm. on naturally. So like they're really good to, if you've got like um, like your winter woolies and your chunky knits and things like that. You need, I think, you need bigger jewelry to balance it. So if you've got some big pieces of agate or big pieces of, of any gemstone, to be to be fair, and then wear them sort of fairly long line or as a choker. So kind, kind of Definitely. Not, not in the middle, mm -hmm. one or the other. Um, and it's like a statement in its own right, isn't it? I think so. Do you know, I do, I like to look at all of the different shopping channels. I think it's, uh, it's a good thing for us to do. And I do shop on some of them. So one particular one that I do shop in is the big one, the one that starts in Q and ends in C. Yeah. Now, there is some jewellery on there. There's a, a lovely brand um, that do incorporate a lot of agate. Go and have a look on their website right now. You'll see agate pieces and they're like £100. There's a couple of pieces of agate in there. And you, you sort of have to, have to sort of take yourself a back because and again I'll, I'll refer you back to when I went to Spirit of Christmas last week now I think we look at our price look this is 495 please don't undercharge please don't undercharge because if you do I think your customers will question your integrity because if you look out there we're seeing agate pieces of jewellery for hundreds of pounds. Now again, I'm going to refer to the things I posted last week. There was a lot of agate out there. Mm. Big, chunky statement necklaces. I don't think I saw one for under a hundred pounds. Do you know what? I, I went to the, um, uh, what's it, the Country Living Magazine Fair. Yes. And there is a lady with some fabulous jewellery there. And essentially, it's like this with big chunks of sterling exactly. silver between them. Yes. And they, they were... Um, Shall we say considered yeah. if you were going to but buy they them? Are considered. But fundamentally, it was pieces like this teamed with sterling silver, uh -huh. and they were hundreds of pounds. But they make their um, they make their stools look incredible. Oh my gosh! And the there's a lot of effort goes amazing. into that. But I want you. I actually think it's yeah. a really healthy thing to do to take yourself out to these places. I'm going to be going to the Ideal Home Exhibition on Saturday, next Saturday, um, and I I feel like I'm going to see some similar things. And I think it's important. I think it's that looks like it's sold out because that was pence per agate. But I do think it's important to really think about the value you're getting here from jewelry maker and think about what you can. Charge for your pieces when you sell them on and I think you can be really competitive with it because perhaps they don't get I think I saw quite a few jewelry mm. maker pieces there you know anyway I've got to press on because they have sold out and I I'm do still wonder waffling. that you know if, I, if I'm walking around shows and I, and I see gemstone pieces I'll go, always go you and always have go, a look and I think, think I know I recognize that yeah that gemstone in that cut and I wonder if it was from us and I feel the exact same way and I think um, and it's kind of yay if it is yeah and I want to go oh did you because you're like, you can't yeah, yeah they're yeah. doing the thing that we hope that people will do and that's to see us as a supplier as well as like somewhere to go for your own hobby and then make yourself some money off the back of it. I absolutely agree with what you're saying. Supplier is a big word there because I think um, we do give trade prices and I think with our PMP, we're giving much better value than if you were to go abroad, which a lot of a lot of um, jewellery makers out there have to go and source their things from China, actually cut out the middleman and come to us, <laughs> get that cut in the PMP, get your 30 day money back guarantee as well. And also know that we test everything twice before it goes out. So I can tell you on this strand here, you have definitely got lap Pistachioli, Moonstone. Uh, <laughs> look, you've got you've got emerald on here. You've got amethyst on here. You've got black onyx on here. Rose quartz, um, just incredible. That's sold out. These are giving you. Uh, we, we, I think pretty much everything we showed you so far is sold out. And I think we we I think we're all embracing sort of. I think we're getting excited about selling our things on I as think well. So, yeah. Our mates. Really? Yeah. Um, we we'll, we'll press on and give you some gorgeous. Cabochons. Now, if you're looking at soutache pieces, and I think these can be quite grand pieces, we, I th I'm sure we've got some soutache around here somewhere. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Scanning, no, maybe scanning. not. Scanning. Scanning for soutache, can't find it. Everything's around again. Everything's, everything's oh. moved around. Oh, you're already buying these. So you have got uh, your, your, I can never say this. Th I can't say it. Thulite. 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 You're guaranteed three. Now, 
a, my favourite one is the cushion shape one here. That sort of rectangle. I really like that. Do you know what? I like that too because the, the the natural markings in there, that's making me think of a rose. You know, um, yeah. the, it's the Beauty and the Beast rose. Yes. It's making me think yes. of that. Sorry, I squealed. Uh, yes, you're you right, where the petals are falling. <laughs> so a bit squeaky. I'll tell you what, I've had quite a... Uh, I've, I, I had... Um, I had yesterday off, and I haven't been here for a couple of days, have I? How many days? I feel like I've had too much time it, off. It I'm really feels excited like a to be years here if today. You have any time off, I'm, doesn't exactly, it? So, so and I'm happens. excited <laughs> to be here. Like I've been doing loads of research, and I think it's. So I think we've got had a really lovely assortment of different things to to offer you so far in the hour. And don't forget, we have got very very soon uh, your wonderful star by. We're going to continue on. And we're going to give you. Oh, now if you're looking for your Snow Whites. Ooh. Then we've got some gorgeous white opal for you. And again, this is another thing. You can make jewellery and you can put next to it genuine white opal. That makes customers stop in their tracks, you know. They do. They really do. So like, oh, what? Let me have a look. There's no such thing as a white opal. Is there anything? Yes, there is actually. And you can start talking you to say, them Come and you can on engage. Now, let me show you. Definitely. And you can tell them about it. Definitely, and you've got these strong whites in this, but you've got this incredible amount of like there's there's a certain glow that cannot be explained if you if you haven't ever had a white opal. It's a glow that I, I, I simply can't tell you about because it's it's such a unique kind of glow. Because yes, you've got a solid colour here, but you've also got this 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 mad translucency. It, it's it's it, it is to me it's quite mind blowing. It's like some of them are sort of lit from the inside. Almost, yeah, isn't exactly, it? yeah, exactly, exactly that. This is going under £10, and I think this could be... The great thing about having a, a gemstone like this, you could put it with turquoise, you could put it with, with any, any kind of, like, chrysocolla, yep. and it could be really summery. But then you can put it with red and blue and gold, and then suddenly we're in winter time. And nautical designs Exactly. As well. I think, it, well, these could be your... These could, of course, be your snowflakes. These could be your... Do you know what these would be good for? You know, if you're, if you're actually making sort of gemstone um, snowmen and things like that, or you're doing, like, um, maybe you're, you're, you want to make a bigger version of the Nutcracker and you're thinking of this for the beard or something. Or buttons um, or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it would be lovely. I mean, I, I really do think, I think you, if you're looking for something to replicate, snow when you're making you're making like whether it's a decoration or whether it's jewelry this this is amazing and it's you know it's a natural oh, it's a beautiful gemstone it isn't is it? isn't it well it's, it's real genuine opal so it's an octo it's a birth gemstone as well hi jackie that is does say jackie doesn't it yeah still haven't got my eyes tested evening jenny and hannah evening jackie Hello. edinburgh's christmas market is incredible oh, as a, oh i'd love to edinburgh's, go to edinburgh for that i love edinburgh beautiful yeah, we, oh. we, we, did, we did a thing one year where we decided we were going to be tourists in our own country and Edinburgh was one of the places we visited. Yes! It was freezing, but I loved it. Oh, I love Scotland. It, I yeah. love it. So I stayed beautiful. at Fleur's mum's um, house because she had a, like a holiday home in Ullapool. Oh, I oh, loved wow. it. I drove there. It was beautiful. Uh, Victoria said, Mrs. Christmas, yes. <laughs> Evening, Jenny and Hannah. Rickmansworth has a Christmas fest, um, festival in two weeks' time. Please come. Uh, so looking forward to the show. How I, Oh, I live near Rickmansworth, don't I? My husband's auntie lives in Rick, Rickmansworth. Where is it? Hertfordshire? Because I live in Hertfordshire. Yeah, I think... I feel like I live near there, so I, I could like go. On the, on, the, on the edge of... <laughs> I don't know. I, I, oh, it's by Watford. I was going to say that I live there. I was waiting to be corrected then because I was thinking, I think it's near Watford. It's I'm going to go. Sure. I'm going to go. <laughs> no, yes, Watford is Hertfordshire. Great, great. So I'm let's go. I'm terrible at geography. <laughs> I, I'll come. Thank you. I think I'm... Is it not this weekend, the weekend after? If I'm not working, I'll definitely be there. Two weeks' time. I might time. have to gatecrash Janie's house. <laughs> oh, you can come to my I'll house anytime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, where are we going? Oh, you're Is gonna that next like, weekend? Not next weekend, the weekend after. after. I'm going to try and remember that one. I'm going to too. Yeah. Well, you know where I am, girl. Come near me. All right. Did you say your auntie lives there too? Uh, well, so Matt's auntie, but yeah. I, she's mine okay. too. I've claimed her. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were calling me Auntie Jenny then. No, Janie. Oh, I thought you said, come on. I, I thought, okay, I'll be your auntie. That's fine. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to tell you a quick little funny story. Just before I came on air, my sister sent me a picture. My nephew, who is three, has written his name across the wall, it's written Woody across the wall, a white wall. And my sister said, he said, it wasn't me, it was Frankie. And she said, but that's your name, Woody. He said, I know, it was Frankie. <laughs> it was Woody. <laughs> 
why is this to scrub it off the wall? There's a strong mischievous streak yeah. in your family, isn't there? There is. <laughs> and the line is strong with Woody. Frankie is actually exceptionally well behaved, but oh. Woody is definitely me. My sister always says this, like, he's definitely you reincarnated. Now, have a look at these, because do you know what these remind me of? And this is going to be such a strange comparison to, to everybody. But you know angelfish, I think that's what they're called. I thought they're you were going to say goldfish, then. No, you know, the they are kind of like goldfish, but they've got all, you can get black versions or gold or, like, orange versions of them. They've got all the flowy, they're really pretty. Are they those ones? Loads of, no, they've got, like, um, I think they're called, they've got all, they're all floaty and, like... Okay. Let me see if I can find a picture of one for you. But they remind you of that? Well, it does. This reminds me. Oh, somebody's been looking at Vivian Westwood on here. Other Vivians are available. <laughs> I think it's called an angel fish. Let me show you. I actually think, you know, when you're walking through it, like on a, an autumnal day and the wind's whipped up and all the leaves are blowing around everywhere. It's like somebody's captured a snapshot of that. That's not what I mean. It's not an angel fish. No, it's flowier than that. Is it's it a, like a goldfish, but it, flowier. Is it a lion fish? A lion fish? No, it's not one of them. A lion fish, you think? So it's really, it's like got a fat body, and you can get black ones of them, and they're all like, Whoa. Oh, no. What are they called? But that's what this, is. oh, it's sold the, out. The fighting fish. Are they Japanese fighting fish? Is, it, is that what you mean? And they've got really know. floaty they're tails. They look really pretty. You wouldn't think they were yeah, fighters. Yeah, but you can't, is it, I, must be. <coughs> Wow, they are Japanese fighting fish. I know what you mean now, fish, and I see, I see where you're going. If, it, yes. if that's what you're thinking, but I love that. I think that anyway, it's sold it's weird out. How our minds work, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you look at something, oh, that looks like that. <laughs> um, now, Moonstone is one of my favourites. I think you can look at Moonstone and it feels ethereal because it's called Moonstone first of all, and you think, oh, okay, does it come from the moon? I don't think it does come from the moon, uh, but. No, okay, Paul is like, it definitely doesn't. Could it be formed by the reflection of the moonbeams? Maybe. There's no proof against it. Could there be trapped, fa no, fossilised fairy wings? That's what I always think this looks like. And there's no proof against it, is there? there is isn't. there? Is when, there? One of my friend's daughters was told once, I don't know if it was by my friend or, or just from through somebody at school, that it was it was um, fairy dust or fairy magic trapped in a stone. I and agree. If you, if you kept it, it, it granted wishes. I agree. So I agree. I'm just like, oh. Now, of course, lovely. we can't guarantee any of those uh, things because no. what we speak of is uh, myth and legend. And it's not nonsense, Paul. Paul, if you get to the pearly gates and there's all fairies in that way and they're like, you didn't believe in us, you'll feel like a right fool. I think if you get to the pearly gates, you'll be in so much shock. You won't know what's going on. <laughs> now, look. Look at this. Look at the effect this gemstone gives you. I feel like there's a certain look magic inside that. these. Yeah. Don't you Don't you think, you know, if you, ever, if you ever tell the kids, let's go for a walk in the enchanted woods. <gasps> and this oh. is the sort of thing you're looking for. Something that gives you magic. Something that looks like that's, that, that forms rainbows. Like if you saw a rainbow coming out of this and, and going across the sky, you wouldn't be shocked. Would you? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I speak about myth and legend, of course, but I do think you've got a gemstone here that is so magical to me. I'm sure it is to you too. JHV R39. They do think I talk a lot of nonsense here, but I think it's fun. Have a look. I didn't tell you about my lady either. I will. Some, a lot of people have been Your asking. Lady. I went to see a lady that can speak to ghosts, oh, didn't I? Spirits. Yes. Okay. 9.95. Now, I didn't realise this, but she told me, I'm not a fortune teller, I just speak to people. And she said, it's like a cafe here right now, full of people that you know that aren't here anymore. Oh, and I went, my oh, she said, there's lots of them. And I went, oh, yeah, I know, there are lots. <laughs> but she did say a lot of names. And she said this. So, unfortunately, and this is going to sound morbid, uh, I know that, and I'm sorry. Um, unfortunately, we lost a dear um, family friend, like, uh, a year and a half ago. who was my brother's best friend growing up. Now, I live in Hertfordshire, my brother lives in Italy, my sister lives in Cheltenham, so it's not like this woman could know. She walked in and she said, and his name was Ian, she said, Ian's here, he said, tell your sister Alex and her boyfriend Jason that he's been in the car with them. Now, that was very specific. I don't oh, know this lady and my friend booked it for me. So and I went, <laughs> oh, how strange is that? Strange, isn't it? Nine ninety five. So that's my that's one nugget, Ooh, and then and weird. then yeah, one nugget <laughs> that she gave. It was strange, but it did make me think. Okay, have you been cyber stalked? No, because Maybe. you wouldn't see that on there. Because my sister's not really on Facebook, no. and her oh, husband, her other half yeah, isn't that's either. Even weirder. Yeah. 
Um, now, threads. Sorry, I totally went off piste there. We're back on piste. Now, <laughs> threads. Again, again, I think um, you've got an opportunity here. You might see four reels of threads and think, what am I going to do with them? But I see four reels of opportunity because you can macrame with these, which is really easy. You can, um, you can do kumahimo with these, which is so, 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 so easy. You can use these to not big gemstones like agates. You can use these um, to do friendship bracelets with, to do wish bracelets with. You can use these for your cross-stitching projects as well, which is just as well, Hannah, because we've got some cross-stitching projects coming up very oh, shortly yeah. too. <laughs> now, I think this is a really mm. low-cost way of getting into jewellery making because you've got threads here. You've got a lot. So you've got 32 metres in each. Now, that is, what's 32 times four? I can't even work that out. Three, six, nine, twelve. 128, 28 meters. That makes a lot That's of a lot. bracelets, a lot of macrame projects or a lot of uh, Kumahimo projects for 12 dollars Five. Brilliant. Now, per meter price on that, if you don't mind, Ross, because that's 10 pence per meter. So you can really work out how much each bracelet's cost you. Yeah, you could. And it's a good opportunity, Hannah, because um, actually you could make lovely, um, you could make some really lovely macrame christmas tree decorations is the words you, I was you could for. i mean you can do um i've seen some uh, beautiful sort of micro macrame earrings as well so oh. so the top section has got um beads gemstones whatever you uh -huh. like and then it goes into like a tassel of beads but fundamentally How they're, like, yeah. they're all threaded onto cords and things gorgeous i really i really do think at 10 pence per meter you're getting such super value. Patricia, you've got yours. Lee Sharon uh, in County Down, you've yours. Uh, do make sure, again, you're checking out baskets straight away because your um, PMP isn't uh, loaded on until midnight tonight. So don't leave it in a basket thinking, oh, no, I don't want to ruin that basket. It, it, we will work it all out for you, I promise you. Nothing gets taken out of your account till midnight. Uh, we're going to continue on. Doop -doop. And we're going to give you the same but different. So you've got some different colourways. So in your cross-stitch projects, uh, this is this is a cord that you would use. Yeah, well, I mean, so I've I've not really done an awful lot of uh, cross stitching. I've had a sort of crash course, if you like, um, into into the world of cross stitching, and um, I've I've used some similar threads that, that I think they're slightly finer threads, but that's because I wanted to put beads onto them as mm -hmm. well. But you if, don't have to. If you just want to do cross stitching patterns, then I don't see why you, you couldn't use that. It's fantastic. I love oh, these the lovely cinnamon colours as well. Gorgeous. They're lovely, aren't they? They're kind of wintry, but you, individually they could be, you know, that pink Some could be berries, summer. Berries yeah. and spices and mold, definitely mould kind of uh, mould colours. <laughs> oh, we like a bit of mould. We do. Cider or wine. I'm not fussy. <laughs> uh, £10.95. pence. KNX C03. £10.95 this time. That's eight pence per metre, so even better. And I think you could make some, you could make dream catchers with these if you wanted to there's such a lot you can do with them um, with the, your threads and I think by by discovering that you're opening up a whole window of opportunity when it comes to techniques that you might want to learn I think it's fantastic uh, now I've got to give you a little reminder of our star but when's this happening I promised it ages ago oh he's, he's making us wait this one it'll be in about five minutes time <laughs> We don't have lots of these. You've only seen it once before. And we don't have lots of opportunities to give to you. Less than 50 of you can get hold of your first star buy. Now we're going to continue on. And, oh, we're going to do a wire bundle. So wire, really important to have in your stash if you want to be doing certain techniques. Um, you've got here 10 metres of one millimetre gauge. And it's in the silver colour. Then you've got uh, 10 metres of 0.8. You've got 10 metres of 0 0.6, and you've got another 10 metres of 0 0.6 there. Let me just double check that's what I've, that I've got. Should I have two 0 point? Yes, I should have two 0 0.6s. So this is a really great one for um, being able to do your wire wrapping techniques, isn't it? Yeah, all, all your wire projects, uh, anything, um, you can make your own findings with them. Um, I think it's uh, 0.8 tends to be a favourite, possibly 0.6 depending on what the, the findings are. Mm -hmm. So if you're making ear hooks, you might go for the finer one. 
Um, and yeah, anything, anything really, any beads that you've got, any gemstones you've got, you can you can use it to make um, sort of frameworks. You can use it to make sculptural pieces. You can use it to make chain links. Really versatile. Now we had Rachel Norris in on Wednesday and if you purchased any of the booklets you'll be wanting this particular bundle actually because these are the recommended uh, gauges that Rachel used. Seven ninety five is such a low price. It's great value. You've got real silver on copper here uh, and then it's coated so you've got that protection there too. RQX C95, nice malleable wire, uh, less than ha less than ha two pounds per reel here. Uh, per meter, we're talking pennies. 7.95 for that. Do make sure you are checking out baskets, which you are, I can see lots of you. We're gonna continue pressing on uh, towards that uh, star buy for you. And we're gonna give you some rhodonite garnet. I think this is particularly seasonal at the moment. And I think if, seasonal? Do I mean seasonal? Yeah, yeah. yeah I do. Um, I said it and then didn't know whether it was right. Now, I think this would look amazing with some tangerine colours with it. Really, it. Would, yeah, really spicy. Spicy colours, mm. yeah. That's not oh. the right one, is oh. it? Oh, I like it though. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Oh, hang on, I got the wrong one. Here we go. Um, but again, actually together. these go together. These go together very nicely. You've got the, the subtle pink tones un underneath it there. I think that would, be, that would be very nice. And actually both those colours go very nicely with their uh, greys as well and silvers. So this, like, if you've got, um, you know, like something a bit a bit sort of uh, festive, maybe a, a, a silver sparkly top of some sort and you want Ooh, to add yeah, a little bit of colour there, that. then a sort of cherry tones and, and burgundy tones and pink yes, tones yes. all sit very comfortably with it. Look at that. Now, I think uh, because you've got this shape, you could do sort of a ladder technique with these. I think these would be great on your bead loom. I think, like you say, Hannah, these are going to go very, very well with all those different tones that you just mentioned. And I think doing that really brings them to life. Yeah, it really it really does. I mean, when you say ladder, you mean like end on end and make like a sort of a, well, you a, could do a it wider like, bracelet? Yeah, well, you could do yeah. it like that, couldn't you? Sort of... Do you see and what then, I mean? Yeah, and then maybe... So like in, something in between or something between them. You can make, make like a gate up. bracelet kind of yes. look. Do you remember yeah. those yeah. gate bracelets? <laughs> we haven't seen that in ages. They used to be no. really in gate bracelets and they'd Let's, be we gold. To start them again. Them. Start them again. Well, we could do them, yeah. right? <laughs> Gemstone gate bracelets. That's sold out. <laughs> yes, exactly. Even better. Kits coming up at seven o'clock and they are going to blow your mind. The trinket <laughs> box. Which one next, darling? This one. Oh, this one. I really love these. I'm oh. obsessed with these. I love them. I need them. them. Do you know what they'd be good for? Pearls cross, pearls cross, pearls cross. Love it. Multi layers as well. Oh, need those. Yeah, we'll keep them out, Hannah. Now, <laughs> here we have that garnet I just showed you. Great deep tone. So um, I think, yeah, as, as I was saying when I grabbed this, tangerine tones with this, make it cinnamon spice. £3.25, this is garnet. So this is January's birth gem, so it's a great one to get now ahead of January. Oh, fa yeah, fantastic. I mean, it's also, it's a really good colour to put with things like, um, I, I guess like a mustard kind of gold, like old gold, if you like, rather than <gasps> yeah. the bright yellow. I mean, you, they're good with yellow gold as well, but mm. it depends on the kind of look you're going for. I know a lot of um, uh, Indian weddings have um, proper gold, yeah. So yellow gold and then this kind of tone. Um, but if you wanted a slight sort of twist on that, then go for go for the slightly muted ones. It would go with rose gold as well. I it think would. this is, I, th mm. I mean, ju just look at the price. £3.25. Let's actually have a look at this. I went to get a coffee in the drive through a small one, which actually isn't called small. You have to call it something else. £4. <gasps> and I could have got gar three. That's pocket change. <laughs> that's po you find that underneath your car seat. Three pound. Well, if you're lucky, if you're lucky. <laughs> now I go into Mark's car, and before he gets in it, I'm like that. Please change everywhere. <laughs> and he calls he calls pounds nuggets. He's like, if you wrap me nuggets. Uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> that's made you laugh. Has it? That's tickled him, hasn't They're it? Chuckling. <laughs> chuckling away. So I sound, oh, I sound, my Irish accent is making him laugh. This is coming up very, 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 you, we keep teasing us with it. We need it now. 
keeps teasing us, everyone. Uh, he being um, being Ross, my producer, by the way. Uh, now we're going to continue on. Mmm, labradorite, darlings. Again, the same rules apply for the moonstone. I think it's the same kind of thing, isn't it? Yes, I mean, it's the optical illusion, isn't it? It's the, it's the colours that are sort of inside there, and it's like a light show trapped within a gemstone. It really is. I yeah. think I'm, I, I always say this about this and um, about this gemstone, and it always makes Paul cross. If aliens landed and they looked at, at our gemstones, I think they would take these back to wherever it is they came from and went, here's their precious gems. It would be, because if you look at this, why, why, why are Labradorites regarded any less than a diamond? Because doesn't a Labradorite give you, I know that's a very weird analogy, the whole alien thing, but I just, I'm just trying to think of somebody who didn't know anything about our prices or anything that was on Earth yeah, already. Yeah, you mean for, for pure beauty. Yeah, yeah, if you came down and you looked at this and you saw Labradorite, you thought, you'd think... Oh, that's their most treasured possession. There's something very treasure. I mean, I mean, it is like treasure, isn't it? It is. It is. I'm, I've got a, a Labradorite pendant, and every time I wear it, people comment on it without fail. Absolutely. And, and Labradorite, when you know, you know. So you if you do. see somebody else wearing it, you're it's almost like, a club, like oh, isn't you've it? got Labradorite. I love that jet. Yeah, and it really is. I promise you. You'll wear it, and you, you get that one or two people who go, oh, Labradorite, I know it well, because to know it is to love it. Absolutely. It just Absolutely. is. Absolutely, yeah. It's going under £10 for this one, and I think, what a great strand for cufflinks. What a great strand for a ring. Look at the way these are faceted. I You've got a lovely curve on, on the. Yeah, aren't yeah. they great? There's facets on the facets. Oh, I mean, do you know what? That, that's, that's amazing. And that's the sort of thing that you want in jewellery that, that yeah. moves. And, you know, so, so like, again, I, I like my long line necklaces anyway, but yeah. I, I think mm -hmm. it just... That or earrings, it would really sort of catch the light as you're wearing it. I fully agree. I think this is such a lovely strand. It's so lovely to have your company here today on Jewellery Maker. We hope you're okay. Uh, we're getting loads of messages in. Thank you so much. Uh, DLRU98, lots of you uh, messaging in to tell us about the local um, festive markets that are happening soon near you. So if you've got any more you'd like to tell us about, do I mean, yeah, feel free to message us. Maybe you've got. Those. Well, look, uh, maybe there's one yeah. that you've got a stall at. Sylvia, hiya, Sylv. Uh, my son had an imaginary friend, Jeffrey, when he was little. He still says to the day that Jeffrey was real and he used to talk to him then just, to, honestly, I'm with him. Yeah. I'm with him. I see stuff all the time. Well, it's not Jeffrey. I mean, well, William went through a phase of talking about his, his brother, he's an only child, um, Daniel. Oh. And I don't, I, yeah, weird. You've got no idea. No, I don't know. You don't live in an old house, though. You live in a new no. one, don't you? What do they build your house on? Do you know? Because you need to know. I don't know. <laughs> My mum's old house growing up was built on an ancient burial ground. Oh. And the headless horseman trotted past that's her. Why, that's why you've got a cafe full of people waiting to talk to you. Exactly. Get off our land. No, I knew them all. I knew them all. She told me all their names. And I was like, oh. Oh, it's start my time. Oh. I don't know if you took the opportunity, or maybe I'll get it up actually, um, to have a look at my Facebook page with all of those big, chunky pearl pieces. I'll try and have a look at it in a sec. Um, now, they really are out there right now. I'm not just saying it. I've, I took the pictures. I was there at the Spiritual Christmas Show in London last week, and I did sneakily take lots of pictures. Um, well, it wasn't really sneaky. I sort of did it quite obviously. Um, but I wanted you to see, my objective was to show you that there are... There are jewellery makers out there that are using ingredients very similar, if not the same as, the, yeah. the ingredients we give to you, calling it ingredients, you know what I mean, um, here at Jewellery Maker. This is very, very typical of, of something that I saw last weekend. Now, I was seeing triple figure price tags on most pieces, particularly when it came to pearls. Uh, of course, I think most of those uh, jewellery makers were using them with sterling silver. But let me tell you, it was the first time I'd really seen and appreciated these larger pearl pieces out there for sale at the moment. And I did that because I knew we were having this weekend. So I went over there. My friend was working. She was selling her candles there. 
And I thought, well, I'm going to take the opportunity to go over there and have a look, see what all these other... Because so she, she told me there's a lot of jewellery stands. Mm. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go. So I did. And I saw so much and so much pearl jewellery that looked like this. I'm just going to try. I'm going to go on my um, presenter page now and I'm going to try and look for um, some examples of that. I'm just looking on it now. Boop, 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 boop. Let me put it in aeroplane. Let me see. Um, because, can I go on it if it's on aeroplane mode? No, I don't think I can. I don't know. I have to, just please bear with me a sec because I really, really want to, um, want to give you that... Um, that impression of what, what people were seeing. And, if, and perhaps you're not on Facebook or perhaps you think the last thing you want to do is follow me on Facebook because I'm annoying enough when I'm on air. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't blame you for that. I can't say I do. Um, page. Here we go. There we go. There's my page. Posts. Right. I'm... Pictures or something? Yes. Here. Look. There. So some of the jewellery I saw today at the Spirit of Christmas. Oh, hang on. I can't. I'm not very technological as you, as you can... Um, you can appreciate. Do, 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 do. Right, here, here, okay. here, oh. look. So, I want you to see how much, this was at the Spirit of Christmas um, show just last weekend. Look at how many big pearl pieces there. Look, B were pearls there. You see here, I don't know if you can see this piece, but that is a big, um, a, 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 more of a peculiar shaped pearl. And you know, we see these pearls. We see them here at Jewelry Maker. But oh. wait, it doesn't finish there because I had some more. Look, look, again, again. Look what was center stage. And I just want you to see price tags here. £3,290 for a silver ring. And then this one I think was £800. It is a big pearl. And we do pearls like that. And that could be very similar to what we've got here. You could do that, but just that. Now, I need you to get ready to put this in a basket we do, we we have 50 odd chances that's it and and that is it but we're seeing out there so my point my my point was to show you that they really are out there and jewelry maker now i i feel like we have given jewelry makers the very same pearls Absolutely. that we just saw right Absolutely. would you agree with that yes yeah wholeheartedly now, this is your opportunity. Please take it because you've got sterling silver here. You've got that wonderful heart that just seems like it's floating in the middle of that pearl. And what a lovely thing to have both a pearl, a star, I meant star, and a star just there. You've got, of course, the element of real pearl. Now, when I turn this over, I know, I know that's natural because I can see the organic quality of it. I can see that. And I think at the moment, the trend very much is chunky jewelry because we're going into the winter, but it's also very much organic. And I think it's not just in jewelry. I think it's actually in life out there. We want organic this, organic that. We want to know that we are, we are as chemical free as, as we can be. We want to get in touch with the earth. We want to be more earth aware and earth friendly, don't we? Um, well, I, I certainly do. And I, I think a, a lot of us feel the same. So here is the first should be price. $24.95, not your price today. So here's your opportunity to pop this into a basket. I promise you it's going under £20. Put it in a basket, check it out quickly. I've got loads of you already there. We're not going under £20 by a whisker. We're going to give you this price. And please, please photograph your jewellery. And if you're going to sell it on, look, just simply put it on a silver, silver chain and sell it on for hundreds, $14.95. Wow. Now, honestly, <laughs> I think, if, depending on where you're selling this, of course, if you sell a, on a stand in London, it's going to cost you quite a lot for mm -hmm. the stand or for the, the stall. If you are going to sell this at, at a Christmas market, consider that and then think, do you know what? Your customers are going there to spend money. They're going there. And, and, and I think if you look at what, what the prices that other jewelry makers are charging, you could potentially make yourself a really healthy profit here for your business. This is a trade price, I feel. $14.95, Y-E-R, F-17. There are loads of you there. Do make sure you are checking out baskets. Angela has Michelle, Julie, Claire, and Esther Penny. Uh, another Michelle, this one in Dorset, the last one in Nottinghamshire. Tracy in Nottinghamshire as well. Esther, you're there. Check out baskets. We don't have a lot of opportunities left. Y-E-R, F-17, now or never, sterling silver 
silver with the star. You've got the loop there. All you've got to do is put a jump ring on that and then pop it straight onto a sterling silver chain. We've got lots of options in terms of sterling silver chain for you. Please check out our website. Uh, really, really um, advisable to shop with us during sterling silver event because you get it for even better prices. But this is like an event price. 14, well, it is an event price. 14.95 YER F17. Don't leave it to chance. Make sure you're checking out baskets. In the next hour, we have that kit for you. The cross stitch box is coming up for you very, very shortly. The first hour has gone like that, hasn't it? Flying past. We've done a lot of talking, haven't we? Well, you have. <laughs> Sorry. Have <laughs> no, I over no, no, it's good. I've been fascinated, actually, just listening. Oh, it's like it's like loose women. It's not loose women. It's jewellery maker. We really do invite your interaction throughout every single show. We love it. We love talking to you. So if you've got an opinion on something, voice it. If you want to see something, tell us. If you're enjoying something, tell us. 60777 is the number to be texting us in. Get involved with our conversations. We absolutely love that. If you're passionate about jewellery making, we want to know why. Maybe you, um, I mean, knowing now that we are in the middle of this event, Maybe you've had Christmas stalls every year and you've got some advice or you've got something that you really want to share. Uh, please just text us in because we, we are here to help this industry. Share we the think love. it's fun. Yes, yeah. share the love uh, in just a few seconds time. We'll see you. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. 
Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. <laughs> oh, yes, sorry, I was just having a little chew. Um, <laughs> now, we have got for you some really exciting, exciting kits. We've had a massive response on Facebook uh, for both of these kits. Now, they come with... Will you tell the story? Here I, I am. Shall I bring, bring this Yes, over please, here? please, Hannah. So, um, our lovely Katie, who is one of our uh, buying team, um, happened to say to me one day... What did I think of these? And they're essentially um, for cross stitching. So we've got some gift tags and we've got a trinket box. And I looked at it and the first thing that I thought was I want to cover the whole thing in beads. Um, so uh, she Be very delicious. kindly got some in for me. I was allowed I was allowed to have them solely for this show. Ooh. So very grateful. Cheeky. And um, I just had to just work out how to do it because I've never done cross stitch before. And I've never really sort of beaded something to uh, anything other than a fabric before. So I wasn't really sure where, what I was doing or where I was going. Um, and, and I hit on a, a couple of little designs and ideas. Um, and once I'd got one that I, I liked, I thought, right, I'm just going to go with it. Um, and actually, I'm really, really chuffed with the it. results. So, so, yeah, so, so basically this, so this one, if you look underneath... If you look underneath it, you can see all the stitches. It's very, it's very rude to look underneath someone's stitching. Did you know that? Oh, I didn't know it that. It was considered in the olden days as bad manners to turn uh, someone's well, uh, cross stitch what over. What I was going to say is we have this wonderful stuff called uh, ultra suede. We do! Which you can just cut a little square out of. And if you get, um, you know, you can get the, um, what's it called? It's like spray glue that you get for, um, if you're yep, doing spray artwork. mount. Spray yeah. mount. So, so it's not like... Some glues, I, I'd, I'd be worried about it seeping through. Mm. But if you've got some spray mount, which mm -hmm. you can get from, from like big craft supply shops, um, and just put a little bit of ultra suede on to hide the stitching, if you're worried about it, then nobody would ever know. Oh. And if you wanted to change it, it's easy to take it off again, and then you can, heaven forbid, snip away at the stitches, and then you could you make it another another picture. I so, love uh, this. Yeah. So I've gone for sort of festive designs. And because I was enjoying it so much, um, the lovely Georgia, who also works in our kit team, um, made me a little, um, what, what do you call it, sort of like a blank template that I could then start making little pictures and patterns. So I've made three designs, which if you buy this kit or any of the kits that are linked to this kit, you get for free. So you can make this snowflake shape. You can make, there's one that I've called Fair Isle because it's a bit like, you know, the, the Fair Isle jumpers and one that I've called Art Deco because it's a, that kind of pattern. But fundamentally, the, the design is to fit this box. So what we have to say is on there, there's little numbers along the, the, the top and the, the side. 
Um, and the important thing to remember is one square on that box um, is effectively, if, if we can show you on the one that hasn't got stitching on, it's, it's four dots. So okay, four, makes that, yeah, so makes sense. So four dots makes up one square. Because, okay. Because the, because the coloured uh, squares on the pattern represent beads. Right. Perfect. Does that make sense? It absolutely makes wonderful sense. Yeah. So you are getting your trinket box. You are getting... Uh, where is the red one? But you... Here. You should, this one. You should this get one. that in it as well. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've got the tr you get the trinket box. Okay. The trinket box with everyone. Uh, we're which red, red one are we doing? Yeah, There's we're two doing reds. red kit. Is but it this they one get first? the box and the, and the tags in both. So you get the box and the tags. You get uh, three tags. Which one? That one there. Yeah. How many? Be how many? Um... Right. Okay. Wait there. Let me just do do do. I've only got three cords on this one, I'm afraid. Hang on. We've got some kits that look exactly Shall the same. Shall I tell you what the confusion is? What, I've made, I've made two major kits, and then I've made the uh, upsell kits are the same beads and threads, but without the trinket box and the tag. So if you buy the one box and you wanted to have both colorways, mm -hmm. you can We've buy the other extras. beads. Yeah. So you, can, you could do both if you wanted to. There we go. So you've got three threads there. We just need the little thread as well because I haven't got the little thread with mine. Um, so you get the little minky thread. You've also got this wonderful sparkly thread. Uh, you've got your um, eight of these Ato seed beads. Yes, you've got yeah. them in green and in, in that wonderful berry red. And your cross stitch decorations, you get three of those. Uh, you can see them all here. Uh, but don't forget, very importantly. Yeah, I th I'm glad you said that because I'm right. worried okay. there. <laughs> so, what Hannah, <laughs> Hannah's having a conversation with our uh, with our lovely Ross there. So just in case she thinks you thinks she's talking more. to God, <laughs> right? Okay. Yes, I've got them. Forest green. You get three lots. Ignore that picture. Uh, you get exactly what you've got. I've got here. So do I get the extra thread then or not? I don't know who photographed that. They didn't know what they were talking about. So here, this is exactly what you're getting. <laughs> Does that mean? Right. Could I just ask a question? Does that mean that on the website the picture's wrong? Okay, I'm so sorry, jewellery makers. The picture on the website is entirely incorrect. What I grabbed first, it's entirely incorrect. Uh, this is, what I'm showing you is exactly what you are getting. So you've got your three uh, cross-stitch pendant -y motifs, decorations. You get your three cords and you get your trinket box. Okay, so all of that. This is your festive collection. We're going to give you, I'm so sorry that we just, uh, we broke our flow there. I do apologise. Right, so this is what you're getting. We've had a big response already. So we're going to give you one minute. From now, ready, go. You've got to get yourself ready and poised. So you're getting also the, now this will come with your order, won't yep, it? You'll get, you'll get this free. So as I understand it, you get all three. Mm -hmm. And uh, it should automatically be processed. So when your order is processed in, in the warehouse, it gets printed out and it gets put in the, the package and Brilliant. it comes with it. So it comes with it. Uh, so you've got all your patterns there, nothing to worry about, everything you need to create this gorgeous, gorgeous trinket box and your decorations. But these could be lovely tags, like you said, Hannah, on a parcel, like I, on a present. I really like the idea that you can personalise presents as Very well. Very special so present. It, yeah, I know, it would be lovely. I mean, but then you could keep it for a Christmas tree decoration. Exactly, you could use it as a little key ring or a tree decoration or, you know, just as a nice keepsake. So it could have, like, you could put an initial on there, you could do a little motif. Um, the ones I did, I did a little snowflake and a, a it's, it's supposed to be a candle, but I'm not sure. No, I thought it was it, a candle. Can you see that Absolutely, it's a like Wee Willy Winkie's candle. Yes, yeah. Let's do it. ZKXC87 is your item code. 10% uh, has just gone straight away. Boom. 20% of the stock has gone straight away. But you haven't even got the quarter of the stock has gone now and you haven't even got the phone, uh, the phone, the price. <coughs> Already, lots of you flooding in for this. Check out baskets. Let's see your price then. How much are you? How much are you spending today? Well, 
I think you'll be shocked. ZKXC87 for a fantastic value price of $24.95. You've got all of this. I think that this, don't forget you've got the instructions as yep. well. You've got the beads as well. You've got those three seed bead tubes. This would be a lovely gift in itself to give to somebody who's quite uh, crafty. Half the stock is now gone and sold out. If you are, if your name is Claire in Bristol, if you're from Hertfordshire, Mary and Jerry, Alison in the city of Bristol, Stephen in Hearts, uh, Liz in Kent, brand new jewelry maker, Stella in Essex, you must check out your baskets because 60% of the stock has now gone and sold out. ZKX C87, we're gonna get down to it and have a fantastic demonstration from Hannah. In just a sec, we're just gonna give you all of the options available to you. We've got more seed beads. We've got some different decorative um, options. We're going to, this is gonna sell out. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Okay, listen, we're really, 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 bit We've only got 10% left, 90%. We're approaching limited stock on this one. <laughs> Any minute now, this is going to go limited stock. Uh, Julie, That's check out amazing. your basket. Uh, Jury maker in Cornwall, Julie in Wiltshire, uh, Rosalind in Devon. I've got a Julie in County Durham, Teresa, uh, Sheila, Linda. That's funny, Sheila and Linda. Sheila in Cambridge, Linda in Nottinghamshire, <laughs> Stella in Essex, uh, Jury maker Not in Hertfordshire. <laughs> Carol in Hampshire. If you don't check out baskets, uh, you've missed out. There is a queue on the phone line. It's about a minute long. Uh, so. It, right now, it's a competition between um, the phone lines and those that have got this in an unchecked basket. If you don't check it out, somebody is going to be allocated to your away. unchecked yes. basket. Mm. Oh, dear me. Pat in Berkshire, you're there. We've only got five kits left now. And I've got Pat, Barbara, Carol, Julie, Rosalind, Linda, Stella in Essex, jewelry maker in Hertfordshire, um, a brand new jewelry maker. And I've got uh, four or five of you on the phones. Liz says, oh, we need this kit. <laughs> Um, confusion or not, it's <laughs> stunning, Hannah. That, yeah. I love your work. Wow. Thank you. Uh, don't forget, this is what you could be making. Oh, uh, another message coming up for you. Sorry, did I move? I'm sorry, darling. Uh, Liz in Kent says, I say chaps. That price <laughs> can't be right. I love it, chaps. Uh, surely, such a unique piece uh, should be much more than the price. You could make something and sell it on for yeah, more. Yeah, you don't have to make any of these either. You can put whatever you want on there. It's, it's just, it's, it's whatever you like. You could put your initials on there. You could do a little, like a floral design. Whatever you fancy. Sold out. God, you can't it have right? it. Yeah. Um, well, take that Thank one away, you. please, Paulie. Ooh. Take that away. Take mm. it away. Right, there were double figures of you missing out on that one. So let's give you your next opportunity. So this is exactly what you get. That one Same is correct. Same but the blues. Same but the blues. You'll be singing the blues if you don't get this. Like what did their play on words? Okay, one minute for you to get ready. I'm really sorry. Oh, Ross, that was quite blunt. Ross went, tell them they've missed out on that one, so stop calling. Aww. All right, Ross. They might be ringing early, Ross, Aww. to get this one. Start calling for this one now. Yes, I don't blame you. Give up for the other one. I'm afraid it's gone. It's oh, sold out and gone. Oh. Now, here we have your box, your trinket box. I really like this because you've got those icy... Oh, this is the one you used. Yeah, this, this is the actual one. And I didn't actually um, I didn't actually use the silver in there, so I, I just stuck with the two colours on that. But if you wanted to, um, you could mark on, on your pattern where you want to put the silver beads so you don't lose your thread kind of thing. Now, don't forget, you still get... Oh, yeah. sorry, Hannah. Yeah. Um, you still get your, um, your, your uh, instructional pamphlets uh, yep. printed out for you. Three free patterns. Mm -hmm. You'll get your free patterns. You get your three seed beads. You've got your cross-stitch decorations. You've got your box. You've got your navy cord. You've got your silver cord. Are you ready? Let's go, because this one's going to sell out as well, it's I think. Gonna, yeah. XBXC97. Uh, we've got already coming. We've got already too many of you coming in. We think this one's going to sell out fast. Uh, right, you've got 70 meters of navy nylon cord. It's a 0.4. You have got I'm just like, your silver sparkle nylon thread in there as well. Um, we're going to go straight to it. Sorry, there's too many of you in for this. Exactly. How much? How much cord is on the silver one, please? I just went to say it and it disappeared on me. 30 metres on that one. Listen, you've got to come in and check baskets out straight away because already it looks like how much of the stock has gone? 
Yeah. Half the sock gone. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> £23.95. pence. What a great offering. I love this. It's something brand new to tickle your jewellery maker fancy. <laughs> uh, Mary and Joe, check out. Teresa, check out. Nicolette, check out. Uh, oh, there's so many of you. Mary and Emma and Brenda and Linda and Stella. You haven't checked out your baskets. And in fact, I think, Stella, you missed out on the last one. Don't miss out again. Darlene, you're there. Check out your baskets. £23.95. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Ah, I'm holding my breath. It's just going so fast. Don't hold your breath. Uh, how much is left? How much is left? Irene, you've got yours. Oh, oh, we're limited. We've got limited stock. We've got less than 10% of the stock remaining, which means we are now uh, limited stock. This one is going to sell out. And I've still got unchecked baskets from Irene, jewelry maker in Hertfordshire, Linda, jewelry in Wiltshire, uh, Julie, not jewelry, Stella in Essex. Uh, now this is going to sell. It's sold out. Oh, it's gone. Gone. Oh, it's gone. That was sold out in 90 seconds. Is that all it was, 90 seconds? It was 89 seconds from when the That's clock incredible. went. That's <laughs> incredible. Thank you. <laughs> wow. We're done with that one now, Paulie. It's sold out. There you go, darling. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do we go to next? Brilliant. No more boxes left, but we have got some bead... Right, if you've got the boxes and you want more bead variants... Without the box, the same but without the box yeah, and the trinkets we have well. got. And we've got another, we've got a purple colourway for you as well. Which we'll have a look at now. And actually the purple one I had in mind for the Art Deco design. So I'm just going to pop that one at the front. Oh yeah, it's lovely. I just thought that would look quite nice. Gorgeous. In, the, in these colours. I love Art Deco. Yeah. And we're going to go into the 20s soon. Do you think we're going to go all Art Deco with our 20s? Because oh. we can't let 1920... Outshine 2020. Well, can you better 1920, though? Because everything was just lit up, didn't I, it? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not really sure whether we've already we peaked. Need, uh, well, we, uh, who knows? I feel like we might have peaked in the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. It goes around in circles. Yeah, but it's the discovery our, of things our, our like being able to have a car dresses. and, you know, electricity. I mean, they probably had like No, well, like every yeah, home having yeah. a, a bathroom in it, stuff like that. Like, we're never going to know that joy of like, oh, look what we've got for the first time because we've had it from birth. Now... We could see other joys, though. I won't get into what Ben's just because it's very political. So here we go. You've got a very festive, a very festive collection for you here to cross stitch with. I love cross stitching. You get the seed beads and the cord. Apologies, you will not get the boxes. They've now all sold out. So if you if you can't get them. got the um, the blue colourway with the box and the tags, and you wanted to have the festive selection as well, then this is this is the way. Here's to do an option it. for you. And you still get the uh, free patterns with these upsell kits. Oh, brilliant! So, so the even if you didn't get the trinket boxes, you could still like do the cross stitching. You could still use the pattern. You could make yourself some little. Um, Perhaps like napkins or something for Christmas mm -hmm. Day if you fancied it. So this is your extra. This is your your extra alternative. Are you ready? Let's go. You've got one minute to get yourself ready and, and steady for this one. There is going to be a fabulous demonstration or two from Hannah. Of course, we can give Hannah plenty of time. The purple one's coming up in, in just a mojo. Gosh, lots of people have gone for this one uh, already on the phone lines. 0800 644 655 if you'd like to join the queue. It is a free phone number. Uh, Joymaker.com. If you're shopping online or if you haven't done so already, download and tap the app. It's all for free. A 30-day money-back guarantee on everything that you shop for here at Jewelry Maker. And £3.95 is all you're going to pay for your uh, PMP. You're guaranteed the instructions of this one as well, so you're not going to miss out on the instructions. We just don't have the box, but it is a great alternative for you if you bought the box, if you missed out on but you really wanted these colours, then we can offer you the colours and, and you'll, you'll then have lots of different options. Just a, a few seconds until you can get it. Are you ready for another fantastically busy product? We can pretty much uh, guarantee that, can't we? UCX C12. I forgot the ability to read for a second there. <laughs> that, have we all been there? Is it just me? Sometimes I do things and think, I've forgotten everything. Oh no, it's okay. It's like I have to jump start myself all the time. Oh. <laughs> Noel, Noel, that's what this is called. Let's give you your price. 
<laughs> La cucaracha. 17 pounds and 95 pence. Go, go, go. Don't miss out on this. It's lovely to see the cords. It's lovely to see these threads. There's a lots of opportunity for you to grab at 17 pounds and 95 pence. Uh, you'd pay that for the seed beads alone, wouldn't you? And then you've got the cord. You really would. I mean, you could make some amazing uh, sort of like beaded kumihimo work with these kits. You could mm -hmm. make um, some macrame kits with these kits, crochet with them. Mm -hmm. You could do uh, straightforward seed beading with them. You can cross stitch you straight into. You can cross into, stitch straight onto if fabric. If you've got a. Um, uh, a hoop, a cross stitch hoop, yes, like yeah. a, an embroidery hoop. Yeah. You could sew straight into yeah. that with something like Do you this. Know, there was somebody sat on the train doing that. I love on, doing on the way that. down to London yesterday. I, I was love like, it. oh, that's fascinating. And she just sat there. And I was just like, why didn't I think of that? I, I know someone who does crawl work. Yeah. Oh, mind Amazing. blowing. Embroidery, crawl work, I think it's all coming back. It's, we could perhaps do beaded crawl think, work, you I know. I think it's going back to the, the, the make, do and mend generation and the, and the fact that people so, are making Hannah. things last longer and I making so. quality things. And it's about, well, I think there's such a heavy association with any kind of crafting with mindfulness. Yes. So I think yeah. that it's something that we now go, do you know what? I'm going to keep, I'm going to have 10 minutes to myself where I'm just absorbed in something that is not the everyday problem yeah. that I'm facing. And of course, I'm not uh, a doctor, but I do know that uh, there is a heavy association with uh, mindfulness and crafting. And of course, jewelry making is essentially crafting. Uh, 17 pounds and 95 pence, UCXC12. Yeah, let's let's look at cruel work. Let's look at cross stitch. Let's look at all of these ways that we can use our beads in and cross over those different types of crafts. Have we been plenty of those left? Keep coming through on those ones. We've plenty of those left. Um, and we're going to leave that there for you. We have another um, option for you in a little bit later. Uh, but let's let Hannah, so I'll zip it. That'll it's, delight yeah, I mean, everyone. It's, it's very, I mean, I'm just going to do a, some literally simple stripes on here to show you how I've done the cross stitch through the, the, the box, basically. Okay. Um, I am using a darning needle from home rather than a beading needle because of the size of the thread that I've yes, got. Yes, it's recommended. Yeah. Yes. Um, but you could probably use a big eye needle, actually, as well, okay. as long as you can get the, the threads through. Um, so... Essentially, every box on the pattern is four of these little dots. So you need a complete set of four. So when you're working with this heart, it's tapered. So some of them have only got three in the square. So I would go to the next one along so you can complete that stitch. Okay. Okay. So you always start off in the uh, bottom left-hand um, hole of the set of four. And I've got my thread doubled as well, just so that you can see it more, really. And you're going to not tie anything off. You're just going to leave a, a, a tail end there. Am I, do I need to move over? Are you? No, you're grand. Okay. okay. We're just waiting for the camera. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up one of my beads and I'm going to pop it on and I'm going to just thread that all the way down because what I want that to do is to sit in the middle of that section of four there. So I'm now going to go diagonally to the top right hand uh, hole of this one. And I'll just show you two. So, so, so if you're doing an individual stitch, at this point, you then come up through the bottom right-hand hole there. So it's directly underneath the last one. And then what you do is you separate the threads and then you make them go either side of the bead that's in situ and then down through the last remaining hole. And what that does is it sort of traps the bead on the top in the middle of that square. Ah! I just pass it. So it'll stay there. So that makes it stay there. Nice and snug. Oops. And the first one's tricky because nothing's attached. Okay, so that's just, that's an individual bead. If you're doing a line of beads mm -hmm. in a pattern, then you can kind of do them all at the same time. I love those little, uh, the green hearts that um, you've done. They look great. They're little, just little sort of sections. Yeah, if you look at it from the overhead, they're, yeah. they're really cool. Yeah, that, I mean, you can do effective. clovers, couldn't because you? Because you can see it sort of from a distance. That, that could be sort of like a four-leaf clover, a couldn't you? could do a shamrock. A good luck charm mm. for someone. So if you're going to do a, a line of stitching, you can also hide this tail on the end here. So what I'm going to do, just pull that through so it's nice and flat. And I want that to sit flat behind the stitching. And what I'm going to do is trap that as I go. So because I've completed that stitch, it's going to be slightly messy because I need to just come diagonally across back down to that bottom left-hand hole there. OK, so if I'm doing mm -hmm. a row, yeah. I'm going to do the diagonal. So I'm coming out of this one. So it's important to note that this square is starting in the last 
uh, whole of the previous square. Okay. So that's how they sit together. And then I've added my bead and I'm going on the diagonal. So I'm going to pass that through. And then I'm going to turn this over. I'm just going to make sure that I trap that thread, the tail, before I then pass this thread back up Angela's just messaged in. Yeah. She writes, good evening. I work in a call centre and do needle um, felting at the same time for mindfulness. That's brilliant because that you can be brilliant. like, chuk, chuk, chuk. no, Marion. <laughs> I don't know where your parcel is. <laughs> <laughs> you keep you calm, can't it? I can stab away whilst chatting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what? I, I would imagine that's really great for stress relief, isn't it? Because if there's somebody you're really angry with, you could, you know... Because you have to stay completely cross with calm. Them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they can be cross and you've just got your job to sort of pacify them, calm them down <laughs> and make the situation better. So, you know, because there are situations where people get... You know, we've all been there ranging yeah. another rant and said, I can't believe this, that or the other. <laughs> um, you know, we do it, don't we? Um, this one's from Jennifer, um, who writes, bring on the smelly, beady baubles. <laughs> Pamandas. <laughs> they are coming. They are smelly, beady baubles. <laughs> <laughs> but they be... smell nice. They're, they're smelly. I'm just they a bit nasty in my They are gorgeous. They're coming up, don't because, worry. Yeah, they, they have um, some porous beads inside them, which is lava, lava rock beads. And I've put essential oils onto the beads. Oh, I love essential oils. It's, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. So I just, shall I just finish to the end? And pop that on there. And then when you get to the end, so I've, I've got, I can add one more, I think, and then I, then I haven't got a complete square left. So up through the diagonal. So that's a simple line. At that point, you can now trim this off. So there's, there's no knots needed. Get rid of the, um, the tail end that's left. And then you can- Oh, look! Direct, oh, sorry. And then directly down to the hole underneath the last one that you went through. Mm -hmm. And then you're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna separate the threads and then you're gonna work back along the same row. Just to tuck them in. Whoops, Whoa. Daisy. <laughs> Good job it's attached. <laughs> Catch that shot, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Well, I, I think it nearly did catch me, actually. <laughs> I moved fast enough. Ben was just saying, imagine if it caught you in the face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've probably got a sound effect somewhere. So this one, again, I'm just being careful to separate the two threads. <laughs> He's looking for the comedy uh, fighting sounds now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> did everyone else hear that? <laughs> that would have been a good one. If only he could anticipate when that happened. Oops. Right, so, that was, so that one's just separated. I just want to make sure that they go either side. And the reason I'm You've doing that... You've just got to that, sort of tease it over. Yeah. The reason that I'm doing that is just basically because this sparkly thread is lovely and you could do it without sort of going back over it. But if you, if you do the sort of the double up, not only do you secure all the beads in place so they can't all fall apart, not that I would anyway, but, you know, it gives it some extra security, but you also see the sparkle. And I think it really enhances the colour of the beads as well. So Looks I'm lovely. Passing that through. It's so sparkly, that thread, it really works well with this, doesn't it? It does. We've got another option for you, which is the blue and silver, which I just love. Um, so we've got three tubes and the white as well. And again, you could, so this is the one that um, Hannah used to make this again, uh, but without the box, you don't get the box with this. Um, you get the blue thread and the silver. Um, and you're getting the instructions too. Don't forget you get the patterns. Uh, that'll come with your parcel. You get uh, those patterns with, um, which look like, so you've got ba 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 so you get ba 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 ba. You get the uh, you get the little download. It, well, it's not a download. You get it for for free. I, it comes I believe it's actually printed. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little print off for you. L Y X C eighty four is your item code. Snow day. I love snow days when you can't <laughs> leave the house. When everyone goes sledging. I love a snow day. Brilliant. Sixteen pounds and ninety five pence. L Y X C eighty four. 
Uh, here we go. It's a great price for you and another option for your colours. Sorry, Hannah. Continue on, please, darling. Um, well, yeah, so that's that's basically a complete line. And then um, it's about um, thinking about your pattern as um, pixelation. So if I if I take one of oh, these... Oh, yeah, that's a good way of describing it. In fact, shall I shall I let you in, into a secret about this please, one? Please, yes. So this one, the snowflake one, the one on the box, actually, it's wonky. So the pattern oh, yeah. is, is symmetrical. When I started making this, um, so I've mine won't be before. wonky when I get it home. Yours won't be when you make it. What I realised, I didn't notice I was, it was wonky. Uh, if you're trying to make a pattern um, that has a centre point to it, like a central cross, then it needs to be an odd number that you're starting from. Otherwise, you can't you can't have a centre point. There will always be two, you know. And you just forgot that beads. when you started it. Well, did you? because I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. So what I did with this. Oh, you can spot it when, so when look, you're told. Look, I'm going to show you, you see there and then there. you can see. So, so that point comes yeah. to the edge and so does that one. But this one is one off and this one is one off. So what, so what I've done is I've added an extra row into the middle here and an extra row into the middle here on your pattern so that you'll see that this pattern actually touches all four sides of the box. Right. So it will be symmetrical when you make it. Fair play to you, because I wouldn't have even noticed, but you said, oh, no, you'll notice if you're a beader. So, somebody will like, spot oh, okay. that, and, and there, there are people like um, Sylvia from the Beaders Guild, and, and, they're, and they're, they're all excellent and brilliant, and um, I just wanted to, to point out that the pattern is correct. <laughs> Well, there you go. You know, you're right. And of course, uh, lots of you going for the kit. Uh, we are limited stock on that kit now. LYXC84. In fact, is, is it sold out? Did it go? Single figures now. Um, so do you need to show us anything else? Um, not really. I was, I was just basically to say that once you've got to the end of the row, it, if you're not worried too much about the stitching behind, I would just work in diagonals on the back. Um, and then if I borrow the lid of that, you can, you can kind of see where... So it's it's not ever so pretty, just unless, cover it unless up, you though, cover isn't it. it. Mm. But then when I've added the, the the filler, the background, I haven't bothered with the the full cross stitch. I've just done normal stitching, so mm. it's it's flatter. So you, you could cover, cover that, that with paper though, if you wanted to, I'd, with I'd cover a pretty it with paper, ultra suede or, or mm -hmm. lining paper. You could even do marbling or something you and, could. and put it in there. Just yeah. so, just so, I mean, if you're gifting this to somebody, it's nice to um, to do you know, that, think about yeah. the finish. Yeah, so. but if you're a paper crafter as well, you could have loads of um, six by six pads that will go and, and beautiful paper that will go underneath that. Absolutely. Yeah, There's loads absolutely. you could do. Um, sorry, Ross, say that again, darling. Only five left of this one now. Now we're going to go to the You've purple. Different colorways. Now you haven't got this with any, this hasn't been included with the box. So this could be the one you've been waiting for. Uh, it, it does tend to be your favorite color, I think, purple. I, it's, I uh, love purple. Me too. I couldn't help it. I, I saw the, the thread and the beads and I thought, I just, I just need to do a third colorway just because. Um, one, I, I got a chance to have a play with doing another, another pattern. Um, but also I, I thought those colors to me, I, I, I could see it in Art Deco patterns. So I was yes. sort of thinking that with this. That was the process anyway, the thought process behind it. So you've got the black, the white and the purple and then you've got the silver and the purple thread. You've got one minute to get yourself involved on this one because, with this one, sorry, uh, because we think this colourway is going to sell out. A lot of you have been texting in saying, when are you doing the purple one? Well, as soon as that clock stops ticking, then we will be able to give you the details. So we give you that clock to give you uh, an opportunity to get yourself on the phone lines if you're calling for this. Uh, get ready and logged in on jewelrymaker.com. We'll get your app up and ready to stick this in your basket and check it straight out. So tapping the app really quickly is advised. Don't forget that you'll never charge twice for your PMP. Between midnight and midnight, you pay just £3.95. pence. You get it home, you don't love it. You simply send it back. You've got 30 days to do so. Here at Jewelry Maker, we are giving you that 30-day money-back guarantee with everything that you purchase. And if this is your first ever purchase at Jewelry Maker, it won't be the only thing you get. You will also get two free strands and a Get Started DVD. They look like this. The instructions will also come with this, so you'll get that pattern. And uh, this is the pattern in particular that Hannah That's, thought yeah, would I work just with that thought colourway. I, if I was going to do another one, I, I'd quite fancy doing something like that. And then um, I just, I just thought that that colourway would blend itself very nicely if you use the sort of like the, the opal kind of colour as, as the backdrop, and then and then your purple and your black as the as the, um, I guess edging. It's like mm -hmm. Art Deco edging almost. Yeah. 10% of the stock has already gone before you've even seen the price, so let's get to it. B-U-X-C-91. You've got your 8 seed beads in violet, black, 
and the oak polish. It, yeah, with a, and they've got the silver lined, aren't they? Or are they gold lined? Boop, 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 boop. Gold lined. Sixteen ninety five. That is a great price for this. A brand new colorway for you, and you get that uh, printout as well. So you're getting the patterns. Bux C ninety one. Let me see your names. I can't see the names, Rossi. Uh, Sixteen pounds and ninety. Thank you, darling. Loads of you there, Stella. You've got your. No, I think Stella. I think you've bought pretty much all of these kits. So well done to you, Alison. You've got yours. Mary, Jerry, Sally, Sharon, and Essex bought two of these. Brenda in Paris. So you've got yours. Uh, well done. It's lovely to have your company here this evening on Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much for shopping with us. We love it as much as you do. Uh, maybe you cross stitch and jewelry make, and you're looking at this and thinking, Hallelujah! Finally, uh, let us know about the other crafts that you do I want to know is jewelry making your only craft or do you have do you cross over crafts do you have a lot of do you do you stitch do you sew do you knit do you paper craft is there something else that you do as well do you do a little bit of home decor because I think that's crafting as well BUX C91 we're going to go lower on the price for you Ooh. because we've got uh Right, so many of you <laughs> missed out on the other kits. We're going to give you a little of an, an apology price. We didn't have enough. We're going to give these to you so that you're spending less than three pounds per component. Remember, you've got three tubes of seed beads. Remember, you've got the free, um, the free, patterns. not instructions, patterns mm -hmm. with this as well. Let's do it then. Come on. BUXC91, we're going to give you a better price. <laughs> I think we're the only channel that just changes changes the price like that, yeah, you know. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> 14 95 <laughs> works for me. Amazing. Uh, 14 95 even better value for you, B-U-X-C. Uh, well, I'll tell you someone who's going to be delighted, Sharon, who'd got two in her basket. Yes. She'll be super delighted with that one. So for under £30, she's got two of the kits. Uh, Helen in Dumbartonshire, you've got yours. Uh, jewelry maker in Angus, you are shopping with us this evening as well. Uh, don't forget, you know, checking out your basket straight away because you're not having to wait for that PMP in case you find something else you think oh, I don't want to check out yet I'm, I might find more treats later on don't worry about it you check out we're only going to charge you 3.95 right up until midnight which is crazy isn't it it's fantastic absolutely crazy any tips any hints while we're um, while we've got this on the screen um, I would say don't be frightened to try stuff because um, I mean I'm, I've just used one of these little pick things that I've got at home you know I don't know what they call it's probably like an embroidery oh, it's pick a, or something it's a seam ripper a, se a seam ripper mm -hmm. so I've got, I've got one of those at home so so I have tried a few different things because it just looked a bit peculiar when I first started uh -huh. and I thought yeah I'm not sure about that and so then, you could just get a seam ripper yeah, and have and it underneath you can just start again you get so much of the threads um, in, in any of the kits that you really have got enough to carry on and you can just you could just use one of the threads if you want to you don't have to use all the different colors mm -hmm. and then you've got more for other projects as well so there we have it for you Great and fun. I think you could bead onto something like a cushion if you what you could do is you could take this pattern and you think well I haven't got the box but I've got a cushion that's looking quite lazy at the moment look like it could yeah. be a bit more you take the cover off the cushion and uh, cross stitch into the cushion with some beads work really well you know you know um sort of upholsterous hessian Yes, you, you could because do, you've you know, got the, the open spaces. Uh, what they call it? Is like, it like sack, sack material. Sampler. Yeah. Yeah. The old, old oh, like a sampler. sampler. You could do a beaded sampler. Sampler quilt. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's they did like the alphabet and things like yeah. that. And it was well, like they used to do blocks. So you'd have a block and... Yeah. Um, a sampler quilt is made up of different styles of blocks and, and what it is is um, to show your skills as a quilter. Ah. Um, so your sampler blocks would be like you might have a drunkard's path and you might have um, you might have a um, uh, what's the ring one called? There's one with all the, the, the rings that you could have all different, different techniques. Yeah you, yeah you could have all different techniques and that's your sampler quilt because it's made up of lots of well, imagine separate that, blocks. But beaded and then framed. That'd be on lovely. The wall. Really nice idea. Yeah. I love quilting. I, I want to I do more it. of this sort of stuff now. Well, I, I, I will build, let Katie yeah. know that her flash of inspiration was brilliant <laughs> and that you've all loved it and thank you for that. We could have frames. We could, Yeah, this yeah. could go so much further, couldn't it? Well, I hope you it does. You do have like a... Because it's effectively a pixelated picture, you could do like actual portraits and things like that, couldn't you? If you pixelate you a picture. Download all sorts of things from websites. It's exciting. And get cross -stitch it's patterns. exciting. It could be characters, obviously, yeah. of course. If it's a character, you won't be able could to sell it on. Could be ones, though. If you, if you... Could be faces. You, yeah. can, you can have... Um, but you can actually have patterns converted, you know. Good. You can send it to be converted. I think it's called... Um, what's it called? What, uh, something file. Wait there. Let me think of what it's I called. I don't know, but... SEG file I was just or something. thinking, I'm sure you could do, like, um, 
like a filter on on, on yeah. various software so you could pixelate your picture you and can then do that, that as yeah. your pattern because well, you can do yeah. it if you've got an embroidery machine you can have it converted into ah. an, I think it's an SGV file that's oh, what I don't, it is. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Too technical see, I'm getting out. right into this. You see, you see. You know I've been a very crafty place for a couple of years, so I learned all about that. Uh, now, this I love. You've got your ginkgo and paisley beaded baubles. Now, this... It's fantastic. Where was I when you uh, launched this? I need these baubles I, on my tree. I don't know. I mean, I, I just, I can't stop beading things. I, I absolutely love using beads and I like the, the, feature, <laughs> the feature beads. Um, and for this particular project, I, I was allowed um, paisley duos and ginkgos and seed beads. These and look amazing. And I asked if I could do um, beaded baubles with them. And uh, yeah, we made a DVD, which is good fun actually. Hannah these are things that you could sell on a stool easily easily yeah. and they can fetch a pretty penny. I think a lot of us out there at the moment have decided that we're buying new um, Christmas tree decorations and they can be very expensive especially if you were to buy something like this. They can be this is such an amazing thing to add. Uh, ZXT Y49 the Ginkgo and Paisley beaded baubles with Hannah this has four sections. So you've got your introduction, but you've then got your ginkgo bead crosses, you're encasing a bauble, um, you've got your ginkgo and paisley segment, and you've got encasing a bauble design two, and because oh, it's design one and design two. Yeah, so, so the concept behind it is that it doesn't have to be a beaded bauble. You can, because they're, they're made in sort of sections, mm. you can either replicate the sections and then encase the bauble, or you can use them as pieces of jewellery in their own right. So it could be pendants or earrings or whatever you wanted it to be. Fantastic. So yeah. this could really span across the whole season. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is a skill that you're learning here that's going to give you the opportunity to, to make something to sell or to just make things to give as gifts. This is such a lovely thing to do. Um, I really think you're broadening your horizons as a jewellery maker as well. Could you talk to me about, it's only 4 95 but we don't have many left. Could you talk to me about, Hannah, what kind of level of jewellery making you have to be at? Um, I would say um, it, it's definitely for beginners. It's definitely for advanced. So mm -hmm. it looks complicated, but actually a lot of it... As long as you've got the want to do it. It, it, yeah. it harps back to um, basic techniques and then you repeat them and then you make a section. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, you can tie the sections off and then park it and then do the next piece. And then when you've got all the pieces, it's a case of stitching them together. Um, so uh, it's, yeah, it's a bit like... Um, well, there's one bit that's a little bit like a drawstring bag almost because the whole thing ah, is flat. Yeah. Um, and you've got kind of like north, south, east, west um, cross patterns almost. Yeah. And then you put your bauble in the center and you encase oh, it. I and see. then you stitch Draw the, it up. Yeah, and then you draw them in together and, and then you and you hold that in there. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, oh, it's good fun. And it's do you know fun. what? What a great price as well. I think our, our DVDs are amazing value for me. They are. They really are. Me too. I really think so. Trisha, you've got yours, Anne. You've got yours, Linda and Elaine, uh, Jewelry Maker and Gwyneth, uh, Sharon, you've got yours, Jewelry Maker and Midlothian, Carolyn Norfolk, uh, Regina in New York. It's great to have your company. Oh, well, that's dun, exciting. Dun, dun. <laughs> We're going global, darlings. We I do ship across that. the world. Don't forget, Regina, to tell everyone, everyone. Uh, so that you can shop, we can all shop. I don't want to go. I really want to go to New York. Wouldn't that be lovely I've to go now? I've never been. I'd love I've to I've only been go. very quickly whilst on the way somewhere else. It's supposed to be great for Christmas shopping. I right? know. I mean, we've all seen um, Home Alone, right? Yeah. Lost in New York. Yeah. We yeah. all want to go to Duncan's <laughs> Toy Store. Is that even a thing? I think it probably is. Uh, thank you so much uh, to everyone that's got theirs. So we only have a few of those left now. So do hurry. Do hurry. Top tip now. as well, if you're doing beaded baubles, buy shatterproof ones because I did drop one Good and, then, point. and then had to remake it before the show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course. Yes, what a good point. Okay, so we've got some more thread options for you. Ooh. If you just want to do cross stitch or if you want to do macrame or you want to do um, kumihimo or friendship bracelets or wish bracelets, perfect for that perfect i love did you put these colors together i didn't actually they're I'm lovely like, is, is it, is it, a bit peacocky you? aren't they that's really cool i look i love those i like these a lot christmas time nylon cord so you've got your wine i'd um, love to, like a tartan fabric in those colors <gasps> I, yes they I look would, very much like a tartan oh, fabric just don't gorgeous. they gorgeous aren't they lovely lovely color combination i'm very into that too if you do cross stitch and you'd like these colours, uh, it's a great opportunity for you to, to grab this. Uh, FWX 
C57. Now, this is 0.3 cord, so it's quite a skinny cord, this one, which is yeah. nice. You could, you could still use this, big, like if, you're, if you're using it for cross-stitching on, onto mm. the, the boxes or the tags. Mm. I mean, I, I've doubled the thread up to, to maximise the colour, um, but because it's the, the thin gauge, you can still get the beads on there. So you can, you know, it's, you can use any of those patterns, any of those designs with this colourway and then whatever seed beads you fancy. Perfect. FWXC 57, 14 pounds and 95 pence is your price for all four of these. Now, how many meters in total have we got? Let's have a look. Uh, you've got 260 meters in each. 260 meters in each. Is that right? Probably, it's, it's quite fine, isn't it? So it, it gets, it, it, that's a lot of meters. That's a lot of meters. Are you sure? 260 meters. Do you Bagsy not measuring it. No, I spoke, <laughs> look, if that's a metre, yeah. yeah, no, I'm, it's right, isn't it? If that's a metre, I've got, yeah. It goes a long way. I, listen, I don't want to run 260 metres, so that's how much it is. Too far <laughs> to run. Uh, 14.95, incredible. Two pence, less than two pence per metre. We're giving a... Now, do you remember the half penny days, the old hate Oh, me? I do, yeah. Used to be able to get two jelly teddies for half a penny. Yes. I used to get 20, you pence, on, half 20 pence on a Friday for my, for my pocket money in it. I got a massive bag of sweeties yes. for that. <laughs> Paul is the same age as me and doesn't remember half pennies. Don't you? How old are you? I'm 38. No, I'm 39. Oh, you're 37. That's why I can't remember. I was yeah, on the cusp. Yeah, maybe you were I remember going to young. see if I I'm could pick half pennies. All of you. <laughs> half pennies, eh? <laughs> half pennies. <laughs> I always wonder whether they're like, does any... Let's not talk about it. Was currency, good. You, got a lot, anyway. you got a lot of gummy bears. <laughs> yeah. They weren't gummy bears then. Well, jelly they? bears, yeah. yeah. Now. Yeah, remember all the old rules? Like you'd go into a pub and it would stink of cigarettes. And you'd come out and you'd, someone would know you'd been in the pub because you Because you smelled it. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, like you wash your hair and you go and you come out and you'd be like, Ugh. And all your clothes. Yeah. yeah. It was just normal. <laughs> <laughs> Not to have seatbelts in the back. Oh, yeah. Normal. Who thought, I mean, who thought these things through? What a, again, what a lovely autumnal. This is crisp leaves on, in the path of the, in the park, isn't it? Lovely autumnal tones here. MUX C73, £14.95 for these. Now, you have got 260 metres again in each one. Rust, um, flax... Sable um, and light cucky. Now, uh, fourteen ninety-five. Where are we going now? Number nine. Sorry to refer to numbers. You don't know at home what on earth I'm talking about. Um, so we've got here a red, a blue, and a pink. I think I would use either those two together or those two together. But you're going to tell me you'd use all three together, wouldn't you? No. Do you know what? I, I think my natural reaction was, was that, that I probably I probably go there because that's almost. It's almost got like a hint of purple to mm, it. Yeah. Or is that is that because of the um, the pink next to it? You know, maybe that, like when you put colours together, maybe. it changes the way you view them, doesn't it? You could make a bit of a patriotic piece there if you threw oh, some white yeah. in there. Nautical but nice. Yes, you could. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put those two together because I don't like clashing colours. But actually, see, it's very some, in at the some moment. Some people would love that. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's very in. I just can't do the it to myself. The cake facets of this world would, uh, would say, yeah, chuck it all in. Yeah. Chuck it in. <laughs> 9 pounds and 95 pence. UXXC18 is your item code. It's called All Tied Up, this one. I like it. Under 10 pounds uh, for you. Now, we're going to continue on with some more colour options. I'm actually putting things back here where it's supposed to go. It's not like me. What's, what's happened to you? It's not like me <laughs> Did at you all. hear Amelia? Yay, Yay! She said in the background. <laughs> I'm not, I can't. I mustn't be myself, you know. I mustn't be. Oh, it's only three of these. Which colour? Olive, sand and silver. Olive, sand and silver. They're all the Hang same gauge, aren't they? It's not that, that one. That one's then. wrong, yeah. Yeah. Olive, sand and silver. Yeah. I love that combination. That's so wintry. Very sophisticated, isn't, isn't it? it lovely? Mm. It reminds me of tweed. Yes! That's why I like it. We can go racing with Ooh, these. Oh, lovely. You can make a little tweed binocular, you can make a little macrame binocular holder <laughs> around your neck. <laughs> I'd love that. That would be so cool. You, you'd, you'd do that. I would well, so you? rock you that. You would do that. Yeah, yeah, I would rock it. You could also make a macrame or some kind of stitched. Um, 
Hat band? Pocket flask, I was going to say. You know, Pocket what, flask? That's you know, no, uh, what's it called? Yeah, hip flask. Hip flask, yeah. yeah. You could well, do like something. It, like a, no, like, you could like, no, like no, a cover. Yeah, it. gosh, not, not actually that. I mean, yeah. it'd leak everywhere. You'd stink of whiskey. Now. <laughs> Oh, I sounded like Scooby Doo then. <laughs> like, oh. oh, I'm turning into Scooby. <laughs> okay, you need these. I love this. So this is perfect. I'm taking these. I love Aww. them. So can I write on that? Yes. I think Look, how cool paint, would this it? be for your Christmas table? If you've got your your little Christmas settings, this is perfect. If Place you've settings. got, do you know what this is perfect for? Putting your price tags on all of these jewelry, all of this, the five pounds in this section, twenty pounds in this section, or there's so much you can do. Don't look for these. I want them uh, now. Amelia's waiting. She knows <laughs> I said I was going to steal them. How cool are these with a gold pen over the top? You could do your name settings. Can, I mean, I'm just wondering if it's actually is it the, is it is chalk? It, is it like chalkboard? I don't so know. It's, oh, we need Let's have a look. Can we see? Can we see the description? Pen, it's Hi, permanent. Amelia's hands. If you if you were using like you know the, the gold metallic pens and things, then you, you put like a name and then it's a keepsake as mm. like maybe a, a tree decoration or something. But if you can no, use chalk blackboard. on it, they there you go. Blackboard. It's a blackboard size. So in that case, oh. you can use chalk and then use a damp Rub cloth to wipe it off. So you can leave each other little notes on the Christmas tree or at the, on, on your, your, your place settings or I love it. price tags. You can put everybody's name on these and put them up on the Christmas tree. Aww. But they are probably, they're definitely, definitely going to be fabulous for putting on your, um, how, if you've got a stand. How eco-friendly is that? A reusable gift tag? hundred percent. Because, <gasps> yes, gift tags. Collect them back in at the end. Collect them back. Yeah. Give, them, oh, give me that back. And Could be games. And again the following year. Yeah, perfect. I but like it, that idea. Me too. And um, But again, if you change your prices or if mm -hmm. you've got sections, and this is brilliant. Four ninety five for six of these. Is that oh, right? I want two of these, please. Two. Eggs, two really pence each. Good value. Brilliant. Absolutely fan blimintastic, isn't it? It, it? it really is. I wish I paid more attention to the, the, the craft fair that I went to yesterday because I know there were, there were quite a lot of places that, that do sort of like cut out um, wooden blanks, if yes. you like. And they're, and they're all, all different shapes and things, but they were definitely more than that per, per piece. And you can get the pens that are chalk pens, yeah. so you don't have to touch the chalk. Amazing. Oh, I love them. Four ninety five. dollars uh, Let me see your names. Lots of you coming through. Um, I can see you on the phones, but I can't see you on the... There we go. Iris isn't silly in Hertfordshire. We're not silly in Hertfordshire. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to get those. I love that idea. I shall be purchasing those if there's any left after our show. I think that's fabulous. Aren't they fab? HDL B09 for that 4.95. Brilliant. That's great. Let's continue on that same theme and give you Oh no, we're not continuing on the same theme. Uh, well, we kind of are actually. Oh, little These are tags. These are lovely. Let's you open them up. Yeah, let's open them. Your Amelia Scott just gave circle. you a look then. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she gives me that look every day. She's she's be behaving herself today. She's not very well. Yeah. Now, Bless her. I'll she's out of sorts. She's, she's behaving. She's out of sorts. Keep an eye on her. <laughs> so here we have your little tag. Now, these are perfect gift tags, aren't they? They are. Um, but they're also perfect for putting. So let's say you've got, you've sold your jewellery, you've got an organza um, bag, and you just want to put a little tag and stamp your... Uh, maybe made you've with got, love? Yeah, or, or you could put, yeah, made with love or something logo. like that. Yeah, your logo it could be. Uh, so you get a pack of 24, so you've got a lot in this pack. Uh, and they are very useful for so much. For £2.95, that's just incredible. It's incredible. It's brilliant. I think that's brilliant, I do. Because if you pay, if you get something like this pack of, but the thing is you can personalise them. That's the point, isn't it? And it could go, this could be a name tag again, on a, a place setting tag, couldn't it? Yeah. It could, it could be. Um, you know, we're having a massive Christmas at my house and I'm getting I, really like aww. obsessed with it at the moment because I'm thinking, how am I going to do this in time? We have to have a marquee in the garden that we've all put oh in for. Oh, my gosh. Because there's, there's, <laughs> there's 15 of here. us. Yeah. That's a lot of people. To, and then I thought, I'm not going to fit 15 people around my dining room table. We, we just squeeze them in. They, they, they sit on upturned buckets and things. And whatever oh, that's we've got, they can yeah. just sit on bean bags. That anything, will happen. Well, what know? I'm thinking is, I'm just going to put... On well, I'm going to put hay bales. We're all going to sit on hay bales. <laughs> and oh, then yeah, I don't, works, yeah. So I'll get hay bales along, cover them up, and we can all sit on a hay bale. That works. That works. That's what I was thinking anyway. Now, 
Oh Lord, come by up. <laughs> I always sing come by up. I don't know why. Uh, now, here we have the same but different. This is a, a pack of 12, or it's 12 in each, so you get 24 all together. Um, and again, we've got some lovely tags for you, 3 95 24 uh, for 3 95 Again, great value, super value. And the same rules apply to what we just said. These could be nameplace settings. They could be your tag going on. You could uh, be printing onto these. You could have your own little stamp. These would be potato great. Potato stamps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, do you know what? You could do potato stamps. But do you, um, if you know how to heat emboss, I always think craft Ooh. card like this is perfect. Do you, do you heat emboss? I, I don't, but I've seen other people doing so it. So with a clear yeah. ink, you stamp your stamp. You then put your embossing powder over the top, you pop it back into the pot, tap, 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 get your heat gun out, I know you've got a heat gun, and then you, and then you heat <laughs> emboss. And what happens is it, it melts and it looks like liquid looks gold. Amazing. Yeah, it looks fantastic. And something like this is a very good, good opportunity for you to, to use your heat embossing with. Uh, again, we'll stick on that same genre. Oh, I like these. Oh, I like those. How many packs should I have? One pack of these. Uh, they're a pack of 12. Oh, I like these a lot. They're perfect, aren't they? And actually, with that said, again, if you heat emboss these, these you could actually make tree decorations if you wanted to. ZFZ, W16 is your item code uh, for these. And these you could incorporate with those lovely colored cords we've had. There's a lot that can be done uh, with something like this. A 195, everybody. Brilliant. Brilliant. Perfect. And you know something as well, because this is craft card, it can be recycled. Now, it could be that you're thinking of, if you're thinking of how to wrap your presents this year, let me just tell you, the only wrapping paper that can be recycled is actually the brown paper package, the brown, brown paper. That's exactly what I've bought. And yeah. I've bought some stamps and some, some ribbons, that, which I don't think the ribbons are recyclable, but they're no, reusable. You use them. Yes, yes, of course you are. Never yes. throw ribbons away, especially crafty. We'd be like, come That's here, give we me them ribbons. Tomorrow. We're going to make our wrapping paper. How lovely. Are you going to stamp on the wrapping yeah. paper as well? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> lovely idea. Stay tuned. We've got more kits coming up for you in an hour's time. Lots and lots of deals coming um, up for you after 8 o'clock. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. And we'll be back here on Jewelry Maker in just a tick. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver, or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our Jewellery Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. 
You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. We've got a really lovely strand now that, um, I don't know if you remember Blue Black Mascara. Yes. Do you remember Blue yeah. Black? Yeah. Blue Black hair dye, Blue Black Mascara. It's a real thing, 80s, 90s. I want to bring that back. Where's Blue Black gone? I don't know. I, you don't often see blue. Or maybe I just don't look for blue. You can't get Blue Black anymore. Oh. In mascara, I, I don't think. Thing. I always have that thing where if I find a good mascara, they, they discontinue it. I oh, know, it's so annoying, isn't it? That's why Absolutely. I have mine stuck on now. Anything that looks half good on my body is definitely fake. <laughs> now, have a look. <laughs> well, all the nice things I could afford. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, these old things? <laughs> they grew out the edge. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> have a look. <laughs> have a look at this. That did go down a road, didn't it? Now, you have got... Do you see what I mean, though, about that? I, I yes. think these are sort of electro blues, aren't I, I they? I think that's it. You, you would be forgiven for thinking they were black until you look at them closely and then you see the fabulous blue shining through there. Look at that. They're they lovely, lovely, aren't, lovely they? aren't they? Yeah, it is like... It, well, it's a little... Well, it's tiger's eye, so you get that sort of like, I had the tiger look. Oh, now we've all got that in our head, haven't we? Yeah. But you get the buoyancy <laughs> there, but it's in it's in a flash of blue, and, it, and almost you sort of have to stop and go, oh, did I just see some blue? Well, yes, I did. Love it. I love this strand. It's a great colour. This could be masculine. It could be feminine. It matters not. I think this could be a great ac accent for a chakra bracelet. And we have got some lava beads coming up soon. We sure have. We don't have loads of these. It's your today's must-have, and it is going at a fantastic price for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, these could be a little bit vampire, couldn't they? Oh, oh I love Bram Stoker's oh, Dracula. Oh, that's I the best. I love that. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> would you want to be a vampire? You would, Ben. You'd love it, wouldn't you? Yeah. I don't think you would, Ben, because you're a vegan. Yeah, but, like, vampires have to do that, don't they, to live? Maybe we are vampires. 
And you're just breaking the mold by being a vegan. 152 carats of blue tiger's eye. Do you think vampires are real? Because yeah. bats are real. They're definitely real. <laughs> They are. <laughs> yes. I think we've got bats at home. We've got bats at home as well, yeah. I hope they're not vampires. Vampire bats are real, yeah. Well, how do we know vampires aren't real? Where do we get these stories from otherwise? I don't know. I get it's folklore passed down, doesn't it? I mean, there's, there's, a, whole, there's a whole world of whether there things is. are real or not out there and conspiracies and things like that and myth and folklore and legends. It's true, and I'm always mm. preparing my children for a zombie apocalypse because you never know. Like, I always say to my son, if you're not careful, if there's a zombie apocalypse, you are the first to die. I tell him that all the time. I'm like, you need to learn how to survive. <laughs> that, now. Yeah, OK. I'm what, oh. sorry? <laughs> a gold bug. Oh, well, I don't A go bag is a... Oh, oh, a grab-and-go bag, like the, your baby bag when you're about to go to the hospital yeah. to give birth. Uh, £16.95 is not your price for this. JLKZ94. If there is a zombie apocalypse, you'll be all right. You've got your tiger's eye. It's said to uh, be a protective talisman. Oh, well, there you oh, go. We brought that right back down to the £6.95. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, oh. that's brilliant. It's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> oh, my ear's gone. I there we go. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it either, and neither did you at home, and here you come, but make sure you're quick because not everyone can win this race. We don't have loads of them. Six pounds and 95 pence. You have got an eight millimeter round of stretchy bracelets. These can go in in each ear for a pair of earrings. You can rosary link these. I think we can think of so many, and I think it's probably the friendliest, easiest size and shape to use because straight away, run your elastic through it. You made a bracelet really easily. Absolutely. I mean, I know there's, we're not, we're not sort of like, like pushing the whole, um, what's the word? Not, is, it, is it metaphysical? The the, the thing, the mythy, the, legendary, the, the crystally side of it. Oh, the crystal healing! I love a but bit of that. A lot of people do, and I've seen I've seen a simple stretchy bracelet sell for just twenty five pounds. Just off the back of it being just just for the fact that it's it's potentially got these these um, additional factors to them. Well, I go and see a, a fortune teller, and she always offers me genuine gemstones to take away, and I say I don't need them. I know where I can yeah, get them. I'm surrounded by them. Surrounded yeah. by them. You should know that, I say to her. But of course she doesn't. Uh, six pounds. I go to this one more. Listen, I'm not going to get into it. It's not for everybody. Uh, six pounds <laughs> and 95 pence. JLKZ94. Margaret, you've got yours. Jury maker in London Town, you've got two. Jury maker in Somerset. Barry and Staffs. Roseanne in West Lothian. Uh, Jury maker in Gwynedd. Uh, loads of you there. It's so lovely to give you such fabulous value. You've got a 35 centimetre strand here. Um, and these are, I, I don't like calling them plain rounds. I like to call them smooth, smooth rounds. rounds. Yeah. There's nothing plain about I don't like the word I plain. Think, I think the Manufacturers um, like use the word plain when when they mean not faceted, basically. Yes, yeah. yes. So but smooth would be nicer. It's like calling them a boring round. They're not. They, they are smooth criminals. Uh, they're not criminals. Six pounds a night. That's just a song. Uh, now we're going to continue on. <laughs> Constellation connectors. Oh, Where are they? I've been looking at those. Yes. Okay. So I launched There's these during Space well. Week. And if you're into, you know, I can't reach them. Here we are. Um, if you're into star signs and looking up at the sky and seeing, Each one. saying, there's the plough. These are the plough, aren't they? Are these the plough? Yeah, they They're are. the plough, right? The plough or the Big Dipper, isn't it? Yeah. Which is what, the Great Bear? Why is it called a Big Dipper? Because it, it's, it's, it's well. Well, not, no, it can't or, be or because it's, like it's a, a roller coaster. Because we've had stars for a long time. We haven't had roller coasters for a long time. So I always go with the old meaning of them. Which would be the plough, wouldn't we'll it? To, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to check. It's got to be, it's got to be a plough, for me. The anyway, plow. just for me. So you've got a loop at each end, ready to go straight into a necklace. Now these, I think, are very contemporary. I think they're for people who love modern jewellery. I think they look wonderful with pearls. We've seen a lot of pearl jewellery out there with big spaces in between, and I think you could use these going all the way around. Now you're actually getting six of these. You're getting uh, no. You're, Yes. Do I get six? Yeah, yes, one. I've got one over there. You get six of these. So you get three in the silver. Oh, oh, they're separating them now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you get three of these. You get three in silver. I'm going to give you the gold <laughs> option in a moment. Uh, so they've got cubic zirconias. These are silver plated. And you've got cubic zirconias just twinkling away. 
There they are. I really like those. I, I think, really I like just these. Just simple, literally just on a sterling silver necklace mm -hmm. and just leave it alone because, it, it you know, people know what I it is. I think that as well, yeah. Leave it alone. Yeah. Put it, do you know what it look really nice on? The popcorn chain. Yes, that would, that would be nice. That's actually. what I think it would look oh, really we, nice on. We had on. a chain that had um, stars as well. Um, I don't know if we've still got any left. We, we had it a while ago when we've, we started um, doing some of the space shows. Yes, it was when, yeah, that's when these yeah. launched. These are coming up later. They're not even coming up now. We're talking like they're coming up now. And they're not. <laughs> You're teasing now, aren't you? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I went off on one and I couldn't bring myself back. It happens to me pr pretty much on a daily. Right, these are really fabulous. First of all, I want you to, see, I don't know which side up I'd have them and I'll show you why, because I think actually if you had them wrong side up, if you like, um, on a ring, prong set, I think, maybe gallery wire. But don't you think that would be quite a point I, of interest? I'd go that way as well, because if you're wearing that as a necklace, you want, you'd probably want it to sit flat. So, so I'd put the flat side yeah. against your, your decolletage and, the, and then have the, the shape at the top. But I really enjoy that smooth top of these as well. I think these would go really nicely with the constellation pieces. You could prong set them and have like a cocktail ring. Definitely. And, then, and then it would be okay either way around. Mm. Yeah, you could do the gallery setting on yeah. these. You could do all sorts of things with them. Now, you've got quite a lot on the strand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're paying over just, just over a pound each, which is madness, isn't it? That's, that's fantastic. One pound, fantastic. sort of 11 pence each. Maybe not. I'm not very good at math, so I've just sort of tried. Uh, MCV R56, 75 carats of amethyst. Uh, amethyst, of course, we know uh, historically we can trace amethyst back massively. A meth, uh, um, anti alcohol, it's worn by. Um, Men of the cloth, typically men, typically men, but of course now women as well. Mm -hmm. um, usually rings are um, are worn to stop you getting drunk. That was that's the prophecy behind those. And of course we know that goblets were made out of uh, amethyst so that it hid whether somebody was uh, a king drinking was or drinking not. wine yeah. or water. Yeah. I'm doing this like you don't know what drinking is there as well. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Say that again, please, Rossi. <laughs> I was very flamboyant. Um, yeah, that would yeah, that would have gone everywhere. It would have gone all over my face. Wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever have moments of complete madness where you think you're just talking to someone and they're talking quite a lot and you're just thinking I oh, uh, and then you just think I could just throw water over my own face or is that just me? <laughs> Do you ever do that? Is it just me? <laughs> is it just me? It's a symptom, is it? I get it all the time. I think. I think I could just do this, but I'm not going to because I can control myself. Do you never I do get love that? You, Jenny. And I'll tell you a really bad one is sometimes I'll be driving and my brain will go, close your eyes. And I'll be like, no brain, because I'm not mad. Don't do that. I'm not going to, but my brain goes, close Throwing your eyes. Water in your face is nowhere near as bad as that. <laughs> but yeah, no. No. <laughs> no, Jenny. <laughs> Right, Mark and I launched this strand, and let me tell you, it's amazing. So we've got like D shapes here. Um, they were sort of, we, we called them fancy shapes in the end, but I want you to just imagine an Art Deco piece. And I want you to think about how this could stagger. So you could go, like a, imagine a fish scale. Yep. And imagine how it goes, doop, 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 and then down, doop, 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 and then down, doop, doop, doop. And then you could have something dangling. You could make like a whole piece of jewellery just because you've got this shape. Now this shape is really exciting because you might look at this and think, well, I've never seen that shape before. That's the glorious thing about these. I think you could do so much more. Push your boundaries. They're under 20 pounds. For 19.95, you've got a lot on this strand. Now they were supposed to be a lot higher than that price as well when we launched these. Um, but I think it's exciting to have new shapes. Because, and, and Mark really came up with loads and loads of ideas. When you see this, don't be overwhelmed. Be, be absolutely excited to embrace that shape. It's nice to have something that isn't all over the high street as well. It's nice yes. to have something that's exclusive to you, that's handmade, handcrafted. You know, it just gives you that edge, doesn't it? Yes. And then when people ask you where you got it from, you get the joy of saying, well, actually I made it and uh, I do commissions. <laughs> exactly, no, you're exactly yeah. right. And that's what, the, I can really smell those baubles. They smell amazing. I, I, yeah, I've let them out, sorry. They're, they're, she they're, let her baubles out of the out. bag. <laughs> um, I love that, is it gone? They're coming up at nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bido, bido, bido. Now, we had that, do you remember the garnet we had in the first hour? 
And yes. I said, we need that tangerine colour to go with them. This Gorgeous. will be sensational. What a lovely colour this is. I think this is such an autumn colour and I love the sparkle of these. And it's so glorious to be able to have them in... Um, in genuine gemstones in your pieces. How gorgeous. Look at the depth of this. What a lovely cinnamon spice of a it colour. It is spicy, isn't it? Mm. That's, what, that's, what, that's sort of making me think. I mean, I know, I know it's not the garnet, but we've got a, a yes, red Hannah. seed bead, but yes. the same kind of idea. Tangy mm. and delicious. Gorgeous. It, uh, it does, it does epitomise Christmas and winter, this colour. Like having your Christingle candles oh, with the cloves pushed I can't in wait them. for Christmas. Oh, I can't either. <laughs> Why is it only one day? Well, it's not. We can we spread I, it out, I don't we? can stretch for the, for the we spread out. <laughs> We're having karaoke boxing day at my house. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. £9.95 is all you're paying for this. 30 carats of Hessenite garnets. Uh, hi, Joanne in Caitness. Um, I think the Big Dipper is the American name. It's like a small saucepan used to get water, not a roller coaster. Thank you, Joe. That does make, that does make sense. That does make sense. Big Dipper. I like it. Yeah. If you go to America, there's a lot of things that don't mean what they mean in England, in America. Yeah. And similarly the same. So they could come here and they could, I mean, it's, there's a lot yeah. of examples of that. You've got to be careful and know what you're saying when you go out there, because otherwise they just laugh at you. Well, yeah. I suppose we'd probably be the same, though, wouldn't we? I used to work <laughs> in uh, Canada and, I used to, and America, and I used to go out there, and my friend Kippy, who I used to stay with, just used to laugh and laugh and laugh at me. And I got her into Marmite, and she was just oh. like, oh, and then she loved it. Yeah. Now, that would go really nicely with the... Um, Going to give that a kiss. With the uh, amethyst. <laughs> now, where are we going, Rossi, darling, please? Shoop, 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 delay. Oh, let's get that back out. Oh. They need to go together. They need to live they together in harmony together. forever yeah. and ever, amen. Look at this, garnet next to garnet. Oh, I love this sparkle. If you've got the bead loom, this is perfect to oh, put wow. both of these together on a bead loom piece. Look. Oh, hello, richness. Wowzers, look at that. Ross said I should be a guest. No way, Ross. Way? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine the sort of crazy, can you imagine the crazy things? This is born out of a crazy thought I had in my mind whilst I watch a pig scurry across the field <laughs> in a desperate attempt to escape me. Oh. Now, <laughs> that has happened to me before. Remember Piggy Rascal, the notorious Piggy PIG? Rascal, yes. Uh, now, £9.95. <laughs> <laughs> I made the news. I was, well, not me, my pig. Piggy Rascal, the notorious PIG of Letchworth Garden City. Hashtag angry pig. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. He went on the ramp age. He did not want to... He was on his own for a bit and he just wanted to seek lady pigs. So he escaped seeking lady pigs. He found a dog oh. that did not want to have relations with him back. Okay. Got hit on the head with a um, walking stick by the lady that was walking her dog. Oh. Went on the rampage around Letchworth Garden City. All the roads had to be closed. I was on air here at Jewelry Maker. And um, <laughs> my friend rang me and said, there's police at your house because the pigs got out and I had to race home. Oh, my goodness mm. me. You might remember it. It's I way do back remember when. it. I didn't realise it was quite so dramatic. Yeah. It was on the news and everything. They rang oh me to give a statement. He's in Royston now. He's a stug pig. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's in Royston now. You <laughs> mean he just kept running? <laughs> No, he's in a place called Royce. We actually had to <laughs> catch him with a sheep. Device. We couldn't catch him, and the police were trying to get him. So I had to bundle him into... I had to ring my chicken man, tell him to get over with the van, bundle him in the back of the van, and take him to the lady who said she'd take him as a stud pig. Oh, my God. It was all very dramatic. And it was like, you know the enormous turnip where the lady pulls? the man. It was me, my friend Alice, who used to be a producer here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. Yeah, the, the chicken man. And we all were trying to... Pull it like, and he was pulling us through the bush. He was making a noise like someone was trying to murder him. And I was saying, Listen, Piggy Rascal, notorious PIG, you're going to a better place. You're going where you wanted to go with lady pigs. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, let's talk about this yellow quartz yeah. then. It's beautiful. And actually, do you know what? It's going to work really nicely with these garnets in between each one. 
Look at the sparkle that you're going to get from the Hannah doesn't. Oh, two ninety five for yellow quartz. That's incredible. I love. See, I'm a massive fan of citrine. Um, perhaps your budget can't stretch to, to citrine this this month because you've got Christmas. Well, look. How about getting genuine gemstones for pocket change? Pocket Fantastic, change, isn't it? Really pocket good change. Price point there. It's brilliant. And it's in, it's from India. It's definitely it's yellow quartz. It's genuine. This is incredible. Anila in Norfolk, you might well buy four, and I don't blame you at all. What a, how gorgeous this would look with some rose quartz, wouldn't it? I love yellow. It really would, but yeah, I quite like that. Like you know, the mustard colours that are everywhere <coughs> mm. still, and uh, you put them with, again with sort of cinnamon tones. And Definitely, warm, like like jewels and Bowden kind of colours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. country classic, country darling. Classics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now. <laughs> that was my country voice, yeah. <laughs> I am a bumpkin, you knows it. Now, I'm not posh, am I? This is me we're talking about. I'm not, I'm not a secret posh. Like, the rest of my family are pretty posh. I am the outcast common one that just hung around on farms. <coughs> now, look at this. Beautiful. Christ a barrel. Chrysoberyl. Well, that's a lovely word, isn't it? Chrysoberyl. That's a nice name. Ben, your firstborn child should be called Chrysoberyl. Chrysoberyl Gibbs. Chrysoberyl Gibbs. That's be yes, that's brilliant. It sounds like they're going to be in for a very bad time. They're not. Chrysoberyl Gibbs. That's brilliant. These are two by one by three by one, and it's on an eight. They, look at the glow from this. Isn't it beautiful? I thought this was a colour change gemstone strand. Oh, because yeah. it does look like it, doesn't it? You know, we get the colour change garnet. Yes. Yeah. I think, so when I picked this up, I thought, gosh, this is a, a colour change um, gemstone stuff, but it's not. Look at that colour. It's beautiful. That's Do you know, I've never had Chrysoberyl before. I'm going to be honest with you. Have you? Um, well, I, I, don't, I don't think we've had it very often. I think it's a rarity here. At all, here. to be fair, yeah. It I've not look seen like it. It should, like, glow. Or is glow? this a colour change gemstone? Can you tell me? Does it? It's definitely got that kind of sort of look to it, isn't it? I'm going to look it up. That's what I'm going to do, Ben Gibbs. <laughs> I'm going to. So, so I'm so sorry. If I don't know something, I'm, I'm going to hold my hands up to it because um, cause you know me, I'm not very good if I... Well, I, I just <coughs> need to know. Chryso... Oh, drat and blast. Hang on. I'm not very good at spelling. Cry... C-H. So... Oh, why? Beryl. Found it. Chryso Beryl. Back to come by R. I'm trying. It's gold, white, spar. A range of yellow and green. Oh, I can't see anything. It's a green cat's eye. It's yeah. saying. It's not. Well, oh yes. Look, if you get really close to this, you'll see that. You'll see it's got chatoyancy. Look. That's why we thought it was colour change. That's what, yeah, that's what it is then. Look, look, you have to get dead, 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 dead close. Can you see? Oh, it's lovely. I'm excited by this. Yeah, I'm just trying, I'm trying to see if we can point at, at something that really... Hang on. Yeah, I can, I when I put Chrysabella, which... it came up loads of Alexandra. It's right, apparently look, it's got similar properties. On the right-hand side. About, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Hannah, sorry, sorry I did blush. I was, just, I was just trying to sort of point one out that sort of really showed it brilliantly, but... It Let's have really a look then quickly at what happened. Hands so, on... On the big feed up there. Yeah. The right oh yes, side, I see it. Like moonstony, isn't it? Yeah. Nine in. Lovely. Ish. I really yeah. like this a very lot. A very, very lot. It's very pretty. It's beautiful. We must move on though. We must move on because it's gone and sold out. Now. Oh, something that makes us all smile. Multicolour barrel. This is a lovely strand, isn't it? So first of all, we've got faceted rondelles, which always delights me because I think straight in a... You can make a sweeter jewellery out of this. A little section in a bracelet. Yep. Straight into a necklace. Few in the ears. Beautiful. Beautiful. Channel set rings as well. Lovely yes, Jan of course. Like that, she? Yes, yes. Mm. I haven't worked with Jan yet since I've been back. Oh, she's still here. She's... Well, she, she's... I'm I sure need to she's see her. Up soon. I'm trying to think Good. what date. I don't know what Hope date we're she's together. In. Look at that colour. So you have got here multi barrel. So you can see that. Uh, well, if you know about gemstones, you'll know that under the barrel family you have aquamarine. You've got heliodor. You've got um, you've got morganite in here. Um, but it's also um, it, it is also 
emerald is the word I was uh, trying that just lost me. It is color, color change, did you say? Now, have a look at this quality because I think the first thing you see is the quality, isn't it? You'll notice that you've got a large section of aquamarine here. So you've got a birth gemstone in here. You've got aquamarine, it's March birth gemstone. I adore yellow. It's such a happy colour, isn't it? And to have morganite, this is a gemstone that was launched yeah. by Tiffany & Co. This is a gemstone that's very highly regarded and actually is getting... Do you know, with each year that passes, I, I find that morganite gets more and more popular. More and more people know about it. You fall in love with it when you own it. It's beautiful. I think as the knowledge grows, that's, that's you know, the popularity is following it. The more that people know about it, the more they want it. This is a fine example of a strand of beryl, and I do love a, a faceted rondelle because there is such a lot you can do with them. You can nestle them into sections, you can separate them, you can rosary link them. I, and I think they're really great to work in between pearls. I think they just work really nicely to separate your pearls out to make them go even further. Let's give you a fantastic price. Let's give you your details. We don't have many of these. You've got 35 carats uh, and we've only got 12 left. So we are anticipating a sellout quite quickly. A 30 centimetre strand means that you've got a lot to play with here. Very generous amount of beryl. Three ways to shop. You can get on the phone lines. It's free phone number 0800 644 You can tap the app, which is free to download on any app store. Uh, Jewelrymaker.com if you want to join us on the old Webulate. That's not your price, by the way. Should be, though. We're going to make it so that you save more than you spend. And we all love it when we save more oh, than yeah. we spend. I, did, I got a bouquet of flowers last night in the supermarket, £1.35, and they were £12. Oh. No, Mark bought them for me. I made him, though. We were in the shop oh, together. £9.95. Uh, this is incredible. And this awesome. isn't like a bouquet of flowers. These are going to last forever and ever, amen. For as long as you treat them well, they will last and, and give you beautiful jewellery. And you know what? This is a strand to get and aspire to using if you're just at the beginning of your jewellery-making journey. What a great one. Easy to just re-thread and pop a bolt ring clasp on the end. But also, like I said, easy to use to space out other gemstones for £10? Less than that. <gasps> if you've already got a basket <laughs> open, you don't even have to pay any extra PMP. It's one basket price all day long from midnight until midnight. It's only £3.95. Everything comes with um, a 30-day money-back guarantee and... and... You have got a certificate of authenticity should you want it. It's free to download and print off, or you can have it in card form. Um, if you want to go and get this valued, you absolutely can. You can have it. You've got aquamarine in there. It's a big, it's a big name gemstone, that. It's a nice so strand. If you, if you know somebody that's having a baby, yes. um, so you've got your pinks and your blues, and, mm -hmm. if you, and if you're not sure, you've got the yellows. Oh, yes, brilliant yeah. idea. <laughs> 9.95, lots of you there. And Neela is shopping smart. She's got four. Uh, Greater London, a jewelry maker there. Two for you. Shandy, you've got yours. Julia, uh, you've got yours. Uh, Sharon in Rhonda, you've got yours. Tracy in Merthyr Tidville. Uh, Mary in West Mid. Oh, it's gone. Sold out. Good grief. Oh. Not surprised. Oh, sorry. I just had to lift myself up. Then I could feel myself going. Breathe. Yeah. yeah, I think my chair slowly... Shrinking. And then you go <laughs> yeah. down on these chairs with a little, little, little bit of air. Now, let's remind you of what's coming up in the next hour. Could we, Ben, just have a little swizz over to the, what are we calling it? Pomandas. Oh. I've never heard of that word and it keeps leaving me. Pomanda. Well, I think traditionally... It's like a pagoda. Um, it, it, I think traditionally it was, it was something used to... Um, basically make a nice scent in the room so they'd use oranges with, with like cloves poked into them yes like, like a christingle that. again like yes. a christingle um this is this is just a modern twist on on scenting your room beaded scent and you know what you could put this in a curtain tie back as well and have you it could. all year round. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas. It doesn't have to be for Christmas. And also, I've, I've just explained, well, I did a little necklace as well to show that, that if you wanted you to, it didn't, it didn't have to be a pomanda. It could, it could be a piece of jewellery as well. So, um, pomanda, Maybe something on, on a keychain as well, maybe. You know, like a keyring. Or on your handbag. See, handbag on, smells handbag delicious. Charm. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Although I would be careful because... Um, Obviously, there's essential oils. Or if in it's there. on your leather, it so might. I, I, mm. Yeah, I'd maybe steer away from that, mm, okay. just in case. <laughs> now, I wonder what's in here. Should we have a look? Oh, don't you love it when you got a box? Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Don't you love opening a box? Me like. <laughs> I keep doing it. Mark keeps getting me stuff and going. That's part of your Christmas present. And I'm like, it's not my main one though, is it? 
It's not my main one because I didn't ask for that, did I? Aww. You've just bought it. Keeps, everything he buys me from now on keeps going, that's part of your Christmas present. That's your Christmas present. I'm like, no, stop giving me stuff and tell me it's for Christmas. You're ruining Christmas you Day. tell me what you've asked for later then. <laughs> I've asked for everything. I... Oh. <laughs> Santa Maria. And we know Vicky Carr's got a song about that. <laughs> Um, did you, Amelia, um, congratulations on your purchase of this stunning strand of Santa Maria Aquamarine. That is absolutely stunning. Santa Maria. So it's said that Santa Maria Aquamarine is the best, is one of the, be the best, if not wow. the best Aquamarines that you can, that money can buy. Yeah. So this is a very, very special purchase indeed. This colour is like the coolest of pool blues. It's beautiful, isn't it? <gasps> This is the finest aquamarine we have here at Jewelry Maker, and we're giving it to you for a fantastic prize. You've got to be in quickly for this one. If you want to make, we've got very limited quantities of this. If you want to make some of the most special jewelry you've ever made, then you will, oh, look at the color, look at the clarity, look at the glow, look at the facets. Everything about this screams high end. You just want to, Pop this in between one of the roundest pearls, don't you? You want to put this in the most exquisite piece of jewellery. Maybe you're going to use this with your silver clay, with your fine, fine silver. This is one to own and to cherish. That sparkle, that glow is so unique. It's so powerful. Said to be a gemstone, if you believe in this kind of thing, to bind a marriage it's said to reignite the flames of love. And in fact, aquamarine was used as a traditional stone for um, setting into an engagement mm. ring. So a lot, of the, a lot of the vintage pieces, a lot of the vintage engagement pieces will be aquamarine. It was particularly popular in the 1920s, really, really big appreciation for it in the 1920s. And, I, and you can see why. This naturally gives you a blue like no other. This is like a dreamy blue, isn't it? It's just incredible. so beautiful. Half the stock has already gone. EGR, U26. Well done to those that have got theirs. This comes boxed. And please get your, your certificate of authenticity. I'd get it valued as well. I would absolutely get yeah. this valued. Mined in Brazil, of course, because that's where the Santa Maria mines are. $299.95. Now, remember... I know this is a considered purchase, but if you shop with using PayPal, I don't know whether this happens for everybody, but the PayPal can allow you to spread the cost of some items. Um, when I check out with PayPal, every item, it asks me, would I like to spread the cost? So perhaps that's something you want to do. Um, maybe when you're thinking about this, if you think, thinking, I need it, I've got to have that in my life. Perhaps try that way. We take debit cards or credit cards. Yes, it's a considered purchase, but my word, if you get this valued, I think you'll be... Absolutely delighted. You've got 30 days to do that. If, if, you, if you get this valued and you're not uh, absolutely delighted, simply send it back. You've got 30 days to do just that. EGR U26. You have got, we've only got one of these left now. Lots of you there, but only one left. If you want to call for it, you can. 0800 644 Jewelrymaker.com if you're doing this on um, on the website, but really you need to be, I, I hate to hurry anybody when it's a, a considered par purchase like yeah, this. Yeah, I, I don't like to do that, but it is something, things, but I do yeah. need you to know that we only have one of these remaining now. So who's gonna get it first? There's a few of you there for it. Who wants it the most? A couple of, uh, of uh, gemstone collectors have this in their baskets. Uh, well done to you. And I think it is one of those opportunities to take. Perhaps you've been waiting for this to go on air for that price drop because after we take things off, off air, the next day the price goes back up to the original. So maybe you've been waiting thinking, there it is, there's that strand I wanted. You've only got until tomorrow to grab it, we've only got one left. Oh, it's a very, very special. It's utterly beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it just, oh hang on, I've... Wait, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, okay. Let's tuck it away for bed. Night, night, darling. Me on appetite, anyone? Ooh. Ooh. You know what this will go with this spicy little number here. Woohoo! Look at me putting colours together I today. Know. I know, I know. It's really you. Impressed. It's you. You're <laughs> rubbing off on me. <laughs> Look at that. Do you think it goes? Yeah, absolutely. I love that colour. 
It's like those Greek sea colours, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those ones. It's such a, a sort of a statement kind of colour. It really sort of shouts, doesn't it? It and does. Look at me! Electric blue, isn't it? Just, mm. it really is, but there's mm. such a depth to this. Appetite is a great gemstone. It's one that you can you can really download some myths and legends about this. If you're into crystal healing, it's a great one. Um, I can't wax lyrical on, on too much on, on myths and legends. I really want to do a myth and legends show and, and talk to you about that. But, um, of course, spirituality to, with gemstones isn't for everybody. It's definitely for me. I definitely feel that force. Definitely. Well, I think I do anyway. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I mean, I, I'm fascinated by it. I want to know more about it. Me too. I'm always yeah. looking for proof. Yeah. I'm constantly seeking that proof. Constantly. Seekers. I, yeah, but, I, <laughs> but don't, to me, and this, please don't think this is fact. You know, a lot of the things I say I, are just my thoughts, most of them. Uh, Paul argues with me day and night because I say that dragons were just probably... Oh, God, he hates it when I do this. I think that dragons were dinosaur, like the last dinosaur survived and people were like, uh, called it a dragon, but actually it's just a dinosaur. Died. Well, well maybe. Because they, there's a lot of, they anyway. Found some of the bones, I, fossils. Uh -huh, and then went dragon. Now, I think, I think, well, hang on, Paul's I've totally forgotten. In there. <laughs> I've, I've totally forgotten what I was saying now. What was I talking about? I don't know. I've gone off piste again. I've done it again. Oh, Myths and legends, though, I think legends, are really but, exciting. Yeah. They excite me. Oh, my point was this. I think before we had the distractions of modern day life, electricity and well, even, even like the Victorian age, all, 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 distractions of modern day life, when we lived as simple human beings, mm -hmm. where we lived perhaps in caves or whatever, I don't know, I think we are much more in tune with, in fact, even years ago, with the weather, with nature, yes. with if the birds more were flying aware. a certain way yeah. or if they were doing this, or uh, the behaviour of, of the rest of the, the, the species on Earth. You know, we would be in tune with that and we would be able to Reactive. predict certain mm. things or think a, a certain way about what's going to happen. I think that about gemstones as well, and I think maybe we've just lost our path because of the distractions of modern life. Now, this is just my opinion. Paul agrees with me. Ooh. Paul agrees. Yes. <laughs> CIV, I'd love to just sometimes, I think maybe we've just overworked, overdone it with stuff, and we should just go back to living very simple lives. I'd love to, because even in the 80s, I grew up in the Cotswolds, so we would go, we didn't have a supermarket in the 80s. We would go... Green grocers. You milk go, you delivered. Have, milk was delivered. I get yeah. my milk delivered still, yeah. though. Um, green grocers, butchers, fish post man. office. Yes, you'd have the fish man as well. Yeah. Um, and the bank. And, and that's all you do. My mum used to go every Thursday. My grandma had a basket and we'd go along there. Yeah. And that would, be, that would be how you do it. You grow your own vegetables. You do all this kind of thing. I think we've lost that, that, that spark. Uh, that, yeah. that, that easy think, way of living because we want convenience. Coming, though. Don't, I don't really you think hope there's, so. there's quite a lot of people getting into those sort of things. And it's back to the, the, the you know, make do and mend with all, with all like fixing your clothes, fixing your piece of jewellery if they're broken, making exactly. your own food. It's all the same kind of thing, isn't it? Exactly. And now they're saying, oh yeah, but what, how do you how do you feel about shopping TV then? Well, actually, I think we're a crafting channel, and I uh, and I think crafting actually is bringing it back down. It's like a skills network, one hundred percent. Yeah, and mm. I think you know, jewelry makers. We love gemstones, and we love the, the and perhaps a lot of you joined us because of your love for gemstones. Um, but actually, we're crafters, aren't we? So I think in our mind and in our hearts, we have that sense of tradition. This is how to embellish your life and your house by making something. And doing it yourself. Yeah. There we go. Now, and there is a lot to be said for that. I remember all our clothes used to be things that Grand really knitted. Like well, not all of them, but, you know, yeah. Now, isn't this a fun strand? So we were talking about big, bold jewellery out there at the moment. Yep. Um, and I think this one absolutely would have its place on your stool because it's like this a is... party strand. Yeah, and it's I think like, it's one of those ones that is going to stand out. So sometimes you need that wow factor jewellery that people look at. Um, I think this would be quite easy to put in a higgledy-piggledy necklace. Um, put some big, fat rounds in there with it as well. Yeah, definitely. Really and you could wear statement. it with any of those colours. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, you could, and that's the thing, isn't it? You could you could pick these out and put them into their individual colours, but I quite like the way they're arranged yeah, like no, this. Yeah, I, I, like, I like the uh, the jumbled kind of like it's like um the texture of it. It's, all. Like it's sort of like a painting almost, isn't it? Like yeah. all these like sort of pops of colour everywhere. You've got some sort of psychedelic feelings here. You've got some zebra stripes or some thumbprints on here. I think this is really fascinating, and I think it's one of those strands that you're going to love making quite summery jewellery with. Just putting a small black round in between each one to separate them out um, would would work really well it with really the design would, yeah. i think i think there's a lot to be said about um strands like this it's agate again let me remind you that uh, i was talking to you about uh, there's a certain shopping channel beginning with q and ending in c a lot of agate jewelry out there hundreds of pounds uh, usual price for that is about 79.99 but i've seen it for a couple of hundred pounds under this uh, certain brand they're mm -hmm. wonderful pieces and i want you to go and have a look at that because i don't think you should be selling your jewelry short i think you should be looking at what other people and i was showing you my pictures from earlier um when we did the with the first yep. star buy yep. you've got to know you've got to know that people are out there and they are you know they're they're charging certain prices and they should and you should too i think 7.95 but you can then afford to be quite competitive can't well, you well definitely but also i mean if you're if you're if you're looking to make a living out of it as well then you you need to make sure you're priced competitively but so that you make a, a, a good profit yeah Absolutely. Even if it's, business, if it's just it? to feed mm. your jewellery making habit, then brilliant. But and if you think, well, I don't really want to make a profit of it, you you could then give that give that extra money to charity if you wanted to. These could be charity pieces. M B P A G P twenty seven is your item code. Well done, Sharon. You've got a couple of those. Roseanne, uh, Debbie in Northumberland, Diane in Essex. You're all coming through for these. Uh, I'll tell you what. We've had this. The, the late show tonight. Is just going so fast. It's flying past, isn't it? I hope you're enjoying it at home. Don't forget, you can text us in. Uh, let us know if you if you have your jewellery ready to go. Maybe you've got a Christmas fair coming up. 60777 JM Studio. We'd love to talk about your Christmas fairs because, of course, we're on the television now. You could use this as a platform to tell everybody about your uh, Christmas fairs that you're going to... I've got no problem with that. Have you, Ross? I haven't got a problem with that. Now, oh, it's start by o'clock. The plough isn't just a brilliant pub, it is also... <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to a plough that wasn't a good pub, have you? No, no. No? It was nice, nice hearty meal. Whatever a hearty meal is now. Oh, I love a ploughman's. I love a ploughman's. I love that. And when they say, do you want ham or cheese? I always say both. both. Yeah. <laughs> both? Pickle and crusty bread. Ooh. Massive pickle, though. It's got to be. It's got to be the biggest pickle you've ever oh, seen. Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's what makes ploughman so, isn't it? Chunky bread with real butter. Chutney. Oh. Can somebody go get me a ploughman's? It's got to be a good one. <laughs> no, we have got. We're going to give you both. You've got both. Both options there. The silver and the gold. You've got the cubic zirconia, just giving you a little twinkle, a little sparkle. But you know, we were talking about this earlier. Just simply putting silver chain with this, your popcorn chain, perhaps, or the silver chain that comes in your findings kits. Um, these are silver on base metal with those cubic zirconias. Um, you get a pack of three of them. I don't think it's quite easy jewelry making, to be honest with you. I think you're going to be making um, some. And the thing is, I don't know how you feel about this, Hannah, but sometimes you've got loads of jewelry and you've got a fair coming up and you just panic and think, oh, I'm not sure if I got, do you know, have I got enough? It's things like this that aren't going to cost you lots of time. Yeah. Straight on a chain, there is a, there is a necklace. And it's a really modern, fresh piece of jewelry. And I think it's an easy one to buy as a gift. How many of us know someone, hands up, who's obsessed with, with their zodiac signs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Obsessed. I love stuff like that. Ben, you, what star sign are you, Benny? Oh, Gemini. He said, oh, I love Gemini. My son's a Gemini. Oh. What star sign are you? Sagittarius. Oh, I love Sagittarius. I love them all. Look, mm. right, all of the kit team are Sagittarians, apart from Laura. What's Laura? Um, I'm not sure. I, don't, I'm not, I have to check. She might be a Sagittarian. No, I don't then. think she is. I think, I think... I'm a Taurus. Bull in a china shop. Can oh. you tell? <laughs> now, we're going to give to you... See, I think most people know what their star sign is, don't they? I think they do. So we're going to give you a fantastic star by price that is not £9.95. At £9.95, you're paying just over £3 each. £3.30 something each, aren't you? Look at me mathsing. Um, but 
you know, you could use these in one piece of jewellery and you could use these. I want you to imagine spacing these out, gemstone, gemstone, pearls maybe. I know I'm obsessed with pearls. What about the chain we have with stars on it? That would be perfect. It would be lovely. I mean, you know, you can get these little um, bracelets that have just got one charm or something. Yeah. You can have that when you wish upon a star on a, oh, on a simple yes. bracelet, slider bracelet or something like that. And that perfect. could be a, a gift for somebody. Oh, I think that's a lovely idea. Let's give you a star by price, shall we? You're not going to believe this. Less than two pounds each. I can't work out the uh, maths because I'm not good enough. Four pound ninety-five. One pound sixty-five each. <gasps> That's brilliant. It's brilliant. You pay that for the twit. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cubic zirconias on each one as well. Twinkling away. Wow. RLG P57, £4.95. Go, go, go. Make sure you're quick, though. This is your star buy. 22 pence per... 23 per... Cu well, it's just madness, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. That's, That's a madness. That, definitely. It's more than star buy by name. It's star buy by nature, too, isn't it? It really is. It really is. Four ninety-five. Lots of you coming through. Linda, you've got yours. Donna of Glamorgan. Lucy of Hearts, you've got yours. Uh, Jewelry maker in Cheshire, you've got yours. Uh, now, Cheshire, you've popped two in your basket. You're not silly. <coughs> Our LGP 57. Don't forget, we are going to give you the gold as well. And I think we all know where the gold are going, don't we? In your pocket? <laughs> no, I mean price-wise. <laughs> Hannah, don't tell everyone. I don't have pockets. Look. Oh, actually, I've got to be careful because my skirt really rode up earlier and I realised I was just sat with my bum out. Oh. Uh, 4.95. I've got tights on, so it's fine. Uh, RLG P57, £4.95. Sorry, Hannah. Now, let's give you the golds. Oh, I like both. Do you know, I actually think this would be really great if you're do doing a long necklace and you could have... Gold, have silver, gold, silver, yeah. gold, silver. That be and, and that star chain in between that we do. Because they do go really nicely together. Super sparkly, wouldn't it? Well, why not, darling? Wow. It's going to be Christmas after all. Love a bit of bling. I love a bit of bling too. Love a bit of bling. <laughs> you, especially at Christmas, everything just seems to sparkle a bit more, doesn't I think, it? I think that's part of the, the, the joy of it for me, is everything sparkles. Oh, isn't it lovely Christmas? I wish life would slow down, though. It's going far too mm. fast. It's like it's, it just doesn't stop. And then suddenly you're not young anymore. I don't know. I mean, it's going too quick. Yeah, what is that about? Lots of my friends turning 50 and things like that. And I'm like, whoa! I'm not, I was thinking about this today. And I'm not okay with the ageing thing. I'll be okay when I, when I become a nana. I'll be, like, excited that I'm that old. Do you think? God willing that I become... Yeah, that, that I live that long, because it would be lovely, not, uh, you know. 9.95, what are you... Do I'm going to stop talking now. H I'm not, I'm going to continue talking, but I'm going to be on point. <laughs> HWG P08, you know they're not 9.95. You've got three of these, and again, you've got the loops. Oh, life does pass too, too quick, doesn't it, jewellery makers? Here we go. 4.95. 4.95. Not when I keep drooling on, says uh, says Paul. Does does time go really slowly when I'm with you, Paul? Are you like, oh, Jenny? <laughs> uh, Michaela in Cornwall. I love Cornwall. Hannah, my pearl needle broke off uh, the thread. What's the best way to replace it? Love you, Jenny. When you go off, pe sorry. <laughs> Do you Thank know what? You. I don't. I don't know if you if you can. Oh use no! Don't that, say that. Oh yeah, go on. It depend, depends. If it's if it's one of the needles that is yeah the preloaded ones on the silk. Twisted, yeah. Then sometimes you can untwist them. You might have to use a different needle though. I'm okay. Not, I'm not sure without checking because I've, I've, okay. I've not scrutinised it enough to know if you can rethread it or not. Oh, can you imagine um, how annoying that must be though? I need to. I'll try and find that. that. I'll try and we'll look. try and break yeah. one on purpose. Uh, this is from Donna in Hearts. Hi, Donna. Maybe you live near me. Hi, Jenny. 100% correct, hun. We've lost oh, yeah. that sense of being in tune with nature. Sad to be honest. Uh, thank God for joining me. Oh. Do you know, I do think that. I look at... Yeah. I, and, and, and it wasn't that long ago. Like, we remember... I've got a real thing against supermarkets. I'm really sorry. But I think because... I think as well... I, I mean, we have to look at the fact that women work now. Yeah. Whereas my granny never went to work, so she could go off to 
you, you know, like she could go off. We live such a fast paced life now that we need convenience and we need it now. They were, yeah, worked and in it different is a ways, shame. didn't they? It's like the, the making, the mending, the cooking. The, like, yeah, the I say growing. she didn't work. I mean, she had four children. Different she was kind of life. Oh my goodness yeah. me. Yeah, she did. <laughs> it, it, I mean, she, she worked like that, of course. Um, we demand convenience yeah. now. Yeah, it's it's, it's, good, it's moving away from sort of the disposable world that we created mm. and going back to things that last and good quality and like good craftsmanship and things like that. And that's it? why we're so lucky here at Jewelry Maker because we are appreciating that every day. We're mm. appreciating making, um, crafting, making, and that is a traditional yeah. thing to do, isn't it? And, and, and we mustn't lose it's it. It's the skills as well. It's passing it down. It's like things like I remember all nanas used to do knitting. Yes. I don't think they do I anymore. I can't knit. No. I, when I'm a I, nana, I'm going to knit. I've asked my auntie to reteach me to knit because I did used to be able to, to do it. I can't do it. But I don't, I don't want to go on the internet and have a look. I, I want her to sit with it's me It's got to be me. someone to teach yeah. you. I'm going to yeah. learn. Imagine. Imagine. And making jam and stuff like that. Yeah. I need to make jam. It's quite dangerous, though. Now, what is then I eat the jam if I make it. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. My dad does jams and chutneys and things. Oh, quite a lot. lovely. Yeah. And pickled onions. Oh, I love a pickled. My mm. granny used to make pickled red cabbage. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> anyway, have it now. We've got a very, very special strand on your Whoa. screen right now. Now, this is the roundest emerald. These are beautiful. We are so lucky to have this. I've never seen perfectly round emeralds. And you can tell these are emeralds yeah. straight away. I love that. Oh my gosh. Do yes. you love that? They are stunning, yeah. I love it. Look at the glow as well. Do you know, I know that's not, like that fifty four ninety five is a great price. You know we're not staying there, right? But I would, do you know, you've got 30 carats of very round. And now I love these because you've got the graduation. So here we have an opportunity then. I would take three of these, three of these, and I would put them in a ring. Ooh. Then I would put three of these in a bracelet. One in each ear. You could do that three or four times. You could. So you've got three or four suites of jewellery. Well, in fact, more than that, because you've got, if I counted Round these. Round emerald jewellery. Mm. That's amazing. I think, the, I think actually these are graduated more than what it says on the, um, on the screen, because if you have a look, this smaller one here is a different is it is slightly smaller than that one. Can you see? I just want to so see you've got but then that one there and that one there, there's a, a bigger difference. So I would actually say these are I'd say these are three to five millimetres. Yeah, yeah. You know me, I like to call it if it's a the spade. It's right on the end, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but I, I think these, again, I keep talking mm. about nestling things in the middle of pearls, but how regal would it look to have a gorgeous white pearl and beautiful emerald in between? This emerald was one of Henry VIII's favourite gemstones. And if there's one thing we know about that man, he liked expensive looking he things. He did like expensive things. He did. Yes. Uh, emeralds and rubies together, they look glorious. $39.95, that's sold out. Mwah. I love that strand. Should we have a bit of platonic love? Ah, Because that's what, the, if you believe in myths and legends again and the spirituality of gemstones, then this is a really important gemstone for platonic love. Do you know, my friend is into crystal um, healing and she energizes all of her gemstones in a full moon out in the garden. Ah. And her husband has to go out in the garden and put them all outside. No, they both do it together, but he's like, he thinks it's stuff and nonsense. So you can imagine what he's saying whilst he's doing all of this. <laughs> And he still, oh, that must be love. <laughs> well, you know, they don't like to get on the wrong side of you sometimes, do they? Six pounds and 95 pence, a beautiful strand. And again, here we have um, a really great example of an uh, organic feel because of the different shapes and sizes of this strand. I think it's a lovely one to keep together because I think you can sort of highlight the fact that these are a little bit higgledy-piggledy and that's what gives them their unique quality. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a beautiful bracelet on its own, mm. or if you bought that multi-barrel strand earlier, you could you could uh, space it out more and have it as a, a necklace. Yes, good idea with the multi-barrel. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then I think I think they complement each other wonderfully, but I love the shapes. I love the, the, the fact that it moves and it, and it rolls and it's got its own kind of character. Me too. I think, um, again, I was talking about feeding bracelets earlier. It's be a nice one for that too, would, uh, for yeah. a baby girl. F-O-R-U-59 is your article. You've got 95 carats, only 6.95. Now, one of the, with the Santa Maria, one left still, and we had quite a lot of you wanting this. 
Oh, I like it. I feel like we ought to have some kind of celestial music playing when you're in that. Celestial music, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's just stunning. You could play Vicky Carr. Vicky did a really good song with this. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that colour. Beautiful. There's something ethereal about this. There's something very, very remarkably special. It's, it's got depth, it's got clarity, but it's also got a softness to it. Quite unique to have all of those things, so to be deep yet soft. I think it's quite iconic though as well as a, as a gemstone, don't you think? I mean, a lot of mm -hmm. people have heard of it at least. Of course, yes, definitely, yeah. I agree with that. Mm. Only one left. The details are coming up on your screen. EGRU26 is your item code. One opportunity remains only at £299.95. I'm all about spreading the cost over PayPal right now. Yeah. I feel like it's going to get me into some I, kind of I trouble. I need to look into that. <laughs> I know, but you know when you're like, oh, spread the cost. Yeah. It, I bought something like, I um, <laughs> can't remember what I bought. It was like £5. It said, would you like to spread the cost? And I was like, oh, yeah. And then I was like, did Jenny just pay the £5? <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> now the bauble, they're not baubles. Pamanders. Pamanders are coming up for you uh, after the break. We're we going to the break now. Oh, and then it's Pamanda o'clock. I can't wait. Don't you go anywhere. We cannot wait to have your company in the next hour. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We've got such an, a really exciting hour lined up for you. This is going to be a hot to trot hour. Uh, so we have got the Pomanda. Um, now, Instructions, yeah. I'm going to show you. We're going to, right, I just need to clarify something with my producer. I do massively apologise. We were trying to ask you this question, but you can hear us. We thought that was a bronze, not a dark gold. It's okay. For, no, it's okay as long as you were doing it. It's fine. We're all good. Right, ready. So, pomanders. A pomanda in this sense is um, to hold a scent. So we've got lava rock. Now, we know that lava um, beads, you can put essential oils into them and they'll carry it. It's something that's been done yeah. massively it's out there porous, at the moment. It's a porous rock. You could use like a wooden bead if, if you got something like that instead, if you wanted to. But Great I like chakra the, bracelets too. I like the fact it's, an, it's another, it's another like, natural... Gemstone, isn't it? It's another yeah. rock. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, it, well, it is. It's, it's lava rock from a volcanic explosion. I love it. You've got your essential oils, I out have. lady. I'm probably not allowed to show the packaging of it. Am well, I? It's, an essential I oil can be um, popped into a lava bead, and this is why they're very, really popular for shackle bracelets. Now, I've known about lava rock for a long, long time. I never knew you could do this with it until about a year and a half ago. And it's glorious and it makes me want these even more because it's great if you have got someone who doesn't want to spritz perfume all over themselves. It's great if you, um, maybe you're into aromatherapy and you want to have that smell, maybe to calm you down or wake you up or make you feel positive. Again, we talk of... Again, we talk of aromatherapy. You could you could believe in that. You might not. I think that's a bit sciencey aromatherapy. I think it is a thing. It's a bit sciencey. <laughs> I think it's a thing. Uh, so you have your instructions. You have your lava rock, of course. Yeah. You have your clear quartz, and you have your bronze beads. Let's have a look at an example of what you could make with this. So, so that's one of the pomanders. So that's with the gold beads, um, but essentially it's just replacing the gold for the bronze colour. The lava is in the middle, it's taking the scent. So when you give a good old sniff to this, it smells glorious. It's got a festive smell because you've got a, a festive aromatherapy yes, oil, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's called festive. It's festive and it's supposed to be joyful. And it's and from, it's... if your name was Neil and you lived in a yard, <laughs> it's from the place that you would call your yard. You'd go to Neil's yard, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Other yards are available. You might go to uh, Helen of Troy's yard or who else does her own therapy yards? Or Tisserand's yard. Tisserand's, yeah, there's You might one. go to yeah. those yards as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, fra yeah, it's frankincense and clove, the scent. So frankincense and clove? Yeah, so it's very festive. <laughs> what even is myrrh? I don't know what myrrh is, but it's a good word. Is it an incense as well? You know when you go to church and they they do the... Yeah. I love that smell. Can you buy church smell? Yeah, I think you probably could. You can buy churchy incense. I like yeah. that smell. 
Okay, one minute to get these. You saw what happened uh, with the first lot of kits. They sold out and they went in moments. 90 seconds, one of them. It was a bit of a record. Uh, here you have them, your lavas, your 8-0 oh, eight oh beads, 8-0s, and you've got your clear quartz there as well. Let's do this, jewellery makers. You need to get ready on the phone lines. 0800 644 It's a free phone number. And again, I think not only are we crafting, making jewellery, but we're thinking about also essential oils and crafting in that way as well. Yes, I think it's yes. a real mindful piece. If you if you are into mindfulness and jewelry making for mindfulness or any kind of crafting for mindfulness, I think this is one is going to really make you feel good. I th that's what I think anyway. Uh, here's the 8O beads that you get. They are 8Os, aren't they, yes, Hannah? Yes, yeah. Um, you've got your lava uh, beads as well, and you've got your clear quartz. Clear quartz said to give you energy. So if you believe in that kind of thing, so we've got a real, we've got a real deep and meaningful one here. I like this a lot. Yeah, yeah. It engages the senses, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It really does. And Awaken your senses with the Pamanda. OYXC62 is your item code. Are you ready for a fantastic kit price? Oh, you're all flying in for this one. Oh, we're worried. We're worried, worried. It's going yeah. to sell out. Eek. You do get the instructions for free with um, all of the, the colourways, mm -hmm. just so uh, so you know you're not going to you're not going to not get the instructions if you don't get this colourway. Okay, thanks, Hannah. Um, yeah, everyone, everyone is going to get it. I need you to know we have got absolutely stacks of you there. It looks like half the stock has already gone before we have given you. Yes, I can confirm half the stock has gone. Mary, Valerie, Donna, Tracy, Sally, Alison, Sue, Denise, Marlene, Linda, Julie Maker and Cambridgeshire and Anne. Those are all unchecked baskets. Lots of others have checked. Oh, Alison's just checked out. Let's give you your price because this one we think is going to sell out quite fast. Eek! I'm excited by this. <laughs> I've really enjoyed this evening's show. We hope you have too. Under £20 for all of this with the instructions, with the seed beads, with the lava, with the clear quartz. What a fantastic opportunity for absolutely each one of you. Loads of you have come in. Make sure you're multi-buying if you love it, love it, and you don't want to run out. We have got other colorways for you. Um, don't worry, we've got one with amethyst, one with garnet. We've got another one with clear quartz and gold beads as well. We've got lots of options for you, but we do think this one, three quarters of the stock is now gone. Check out baskets and most of it will have gone. Um, listen, we are seeing so many of you flooding through. It's now, now, now. Let's have another look at the examples. You could make this pomanda. Pomanda. Rhymes with Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells so good. This exact colorway is coming up next for you. Uh, for now, 80% of the stock's gone, which means we are approaching limited stock. I keep eking. I'm not, I'm not an eker. It's Don't been be. an eek kind of a show, though, it's hasn't been it? An eek it's kind been of great. Night. It's like there's been an eek. Lots of interaction, and it's always it's always fun when people get involved with the show, isn't it? We love full involvement yeah. for absolute sure. I'm loving this pomander idea. It's a new idea to me. I've not seen it. Have you seen this on Jury Maker before? No, no. I, 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 I it's a just, new thing. Yeah, light bulb. <laughs> I, do, I wish you could all smell these. You're going to yeah. show us how to add we the. Yeah. We're going to show you everything. Well, I say we, Hannah. Hannah's going to show you yeah. everything. Yeah, so, um, so the, this pomander comes with the instructions. So, so this one you'll be able to make um, yourself. And then I've got a smaller version, um, if I don't put it out there. So hey, if you didn't want to make such a big one, this one is a little ah. one. So you can use this in the Still same, with lava rock in the centre. Yeah, it's still got lava rock. So it can still be a pomander. So you can make more than, than that. So um, with one strand of the clear quartz, you can make both of those. Oh. And then you've got all the red, because you only use like a, a couple of the lava rock inside. So you've then How got lovely. lava rock to then make yourself either stretchies or other jewellery, or you can put it in um, potpourri and you can put your essential oils in there and it'll hold the, the scent for longer. You um, could put these cascading from one to the other and could. it could be a you tree ornament, ornament like that. Ornament, yeah. If you've got a faux tree and you're missing the smell of the tree, you could put a pine that, scent into it. That's what I did with them originally. It's, it's just the idea of, of, you know, you can buy those sort of um, sticks essentially that yeah. smell like Christmas tree. Um, I just thought I wanted something a bit more glamorous than that. Yeah, better than a stick. Yeah, and then you get the you get the lovely scent, but nobody really knows, you know, where it's coming from. It's because it's it's hidden amongst the ornaments on the oh, tree. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells like cloves. It smells like cloves. Well, you can it smells make it like smell anything trees. you like because obviously it's like it's whatever. It could whatever. be anything. Yeah, it could be lavender if you have one by the bed. If you're if you're not these aren't just well. for Christmas, indeed. Yeah. yeah. 
Could be going Brilliant. in your drawer. Could be anything There's like that. There's certain ones that you can have for like for clarity of thoughts. If somebody's studying, oh. you know, they can have certain. I'm not even sure which which um, clarity sense of they are. thoughts. Yeah, yeah. So just to help you concentrate. So uh, yeah, I could do with that, couldn't I? Yeah. No. Yeah. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Somebody get me that oil. <laughs> uh, I can't see. Caroline in Tyne and Ware says, join, join them, them together. together. The snowman. Oh, she's got it. Oh, what a genius. Oh, I'm going to have to try that. Do you want to build a gem man? A snow person? Oh. Could be a little robot snowman, oh, couldn't it? Oh, Lord, you could have a snowman Christmas decoration. Oh, I like that idea. Well done, Caroline. Thank you. Right, I think that one's, that's gone limited stock now. Another message saying, Hi again, Hannah, how do you refill the pomanda with the oil? Well, because um, of the way it's all... Because you're going to prepare. I don't know how close it is. Yeah. So, oh, sorry, the, the, I had to do a question for you. I'm so sorry. Shut up, Jerry. Ba, ba, ba. What's she talking about? Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, as Jenny was saying, like if you if you want a non-messy version, you can get little pipettes and you can get them from uh, your local chemist, pl places like that. But a lot of the um, the oils actually have like a dropper on them. <gasps> so if as long as you're um, aiming for between some of the, the larger gemstones, so there's, there are there are gaps. So you only need literally like two oh, or three fabulous. drops of this stuff, and then and then just sort of let it soak in, and then you can circulate it, and then and then. Basically, once you're, once you're convinced that it's all soaked in, then hang it up or use it as whatever you want to use it for. So, yeah. It's, That's sold it's out, just, I think. Oh, still a few. How many left? Single figures. Okay, which one are we going to We're going to give you the exact same. So we'll do this quite quickly. Same, but with the gold. It's the so exact same one. one, but it's with gold instead of yeah. bronze. Minute clock going on, because we do think, uh, again, this is going to be very, very popular. We'll give you all plenty of warning. So again, you've got the lava beads, the clear quartz, and you get the gold, the gold beads. And again, you get the uh, the instructions yep. and the patterns. So I'm going to show you that again. So you get this, and then you get this. So you have got your pattern. See, there's a very extensive instructions. It's, yeah, I, uh, it, it is a repetitive pattern, but it, you do need to know which step you're at mm -hmm. to be able to, to carry on. Okay, you've got about 20 seconds. Is that what does that mean, 20 seconds? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? 20 seconds <laughs> to get yourself organised, get yourself ready to grab this colourway. Uh, I think a lot of you are just going to grab... I think you're just going to grab as many as you can, because this is... I wouldn't yeah. want to run out of these. I want, and I think you could sell these for about £5 each. We, well, it's whatever you want to sell them at, really. I think you sell them for more. Do you think you could sell them for more if it's got the oil in it? I, I think you probably you, you could sell it for more than that because you're, again, it's, it's, it's a mindfulness kit. Yeah. It's engaging the senses so that it's all about well-being. But if you look at this... But also scented products. I mean, things like... Uh, there's a lot of people like scented candles and things like that as well. So I'm obsessed so with there's, candles. Yeah. So, it, again, it, you know, it's just... It taps into a lot of different um, audiences, if you like, customers, because of the different um, aspects of it. 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 48 lava beads on my strand. You should have there or thereabouts. So you could essentially, if you've got lots of other beads, you could make... You Over could, 40. Yeah. What did I say? 40 what? 41, 40, something like that. I don't know. So basically, I think I've got three in the large uh, pomander, and then I think there's only one in the in the small one. You did three large pomanders? No, the, so there's no, three um, of the lava rock inside it. Oh, inside it. it. Right, right, but right. Out right, right. of a kit. The, yeah. the, the number of um, beads on the clear quartz strands, I know you can get two, the, a large one and a small one. Oh, my one. gosh. So you could essentially, you could probably get two, of, two more of them and have three small ones, yeah. couldn't you? 1995. <laughs> JFX uh, C84 is your item code. We've got lots more to come. Don't you go anywhere. I've got loads of lava rock to bring you as well. See loads of names. Make sure you are checking out baskets. I am mindful that the time is ticking and we, do, and we know we want to get the uh, demonstration done as well. Uh, so Hannah, okay, we'll leave this one on screen. We have got more options for you. Uh, we'll, bring them, uh, we'll bring them shortly. I might have to interrupt Hannah in 10 minutes. Um, have we got any yeah, colour? Yes, I've, right, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Put them with the... Yes, let's put these so with... The, right, one. so we've got, an, um, we've got a garnet coming up for you. That's lovely, isn't garnet it? Garnet with that lovely yellow gold. 
and, um, then, and then, then we've got an amethyst. Amethyst with silver for a bit, bit of a silver. difference. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Swizzles. Is it amethyst or is it, I can't remember if it's, if it's um, phantom quartz or amethyst. I can't remember. I think it's amethyst, you know. It's amethyst, it is the yeah. amethyst. So that's a gorgeous uh, option for you as well. Okay, so we've got clear quartz with the gold on your screen just now. Okay. I'm just How do thinking, we do this? so I'm normally, do you want to put the oil on there? Yeah, so I'll you trust me. I, well, I was just going to say because I haven't got a little dish to, to sit underneath it I was just going to use the um, The thread so you, okay. you probably won't see it will you? I don't know if you can see from there We can, can try see that? There we go, poorly you'll stunning. You'll have to do it without <laughs> How many drops? So on I each? literally just put a drop onto each one Do 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 Dropity dropity drop Because it's quite a this is it's quite a strong essential oil this one Oh, 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 there we go. Because so, you only need a little bit and then we can let them soak in while we're, we're doing the rest of it, can't we? That's a good idea. I could roll them around yeah. in here. Yeah. It's like that game Yahtzee. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The board game. Yeah. Oh, that smells so it smells good. smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so, I wish you could, yes, it's so good. It's like Christmas Day. It smells like Christmas Day without the turkey. So Benny will like it. <laughs> right. So um, for the large Fernanda, you've got the instructions that come with it, with the uh, kit. Uh, this one is for the small one. Um, and you only actually need, I think it's 15 of the clear quartz to make this. OK. Um, so I've got about a, a metre of my, um, I'm actually using beading thread. You can use a uh, fire line thread if you want to. Um, both work equally well. It just depends on, on your preference. I've got five of the seed beads in the middle and I'm just going to make a loop so that you end up with like a little flower pattern. But I want that to be in the middle of my thread. So I'm going to hang on to both ends and that one uh, bead that they're both passing through. Okay. Okay. So you get that little pattern in the middle. Little circle. Yeah. And then you sort of work in um, triangles actually to start with. So I'm going to add on to one of my threads, one of the beads, one of the seed beads, oh. two, second one, and a third one. So this is just for the first um, section. Then with the other thread, I'm going to pass through that last bead that's added. Okay. So it's going to try and pull itself out of the uh, shot. So I'm going to try and keep it in the middle if I can. Oh, look at that quartz. Look how shiny it it's is. It's lovely, isn't it? And it really catches the light. If you can got, see, look, one of these you can ones, see it. Look, it's glowing. It looks like it's got little fairy lights inside. <laughs> right, so at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and hold the tension, but it will try and move around a little bit. And then the thread that's nearest the centre of your design, so that the one that's coming out nearest the little flower pattern, I'm going to pass that through the next um, seed bead in that flower like that okay so that pops out there and it's moved it along and then I'm going to pick up a seed bead try and get it in there and a quartz I can hear a pin drop everyone's oh I love this though there we go so this time there's just two yeah because you've already got one there that's going to be part of the next triangle okay so again, I'm going to pass that through the last bead added. Oops. Not through both. Not through both. And again, that Ooh, pulls it together. Yes, and it started to curve. Well, it's yeah, it's trying to already. So, so, yeah. you, so you basically you go all the way around um, in the same way. So, so the, the thread that's nearest the central um, floral design, centre flower there, you pass the thread through the next bead along and then that, that gives you the next space for you then to add the petals around. Brilliant. So then once you've got all the way around, you'll end up, I wonder if I should back this yeah. one up a little bit. Oh, it looks like a star. Yeah, it does a little bit. So you will end up, let's reverse this a bit, with, take that one away and those ones away. You'll get to that point there. So, so you've got 
one, two, three, four, five um, of your central petals, if you like, around the seed bead flower. And then you've got four of the outer ones. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing is you're going to turn this into a five point star. So this time, where you would normally pass your, your center cord through the middle flower, this time you're coming up and out of the first uh, crystal bead or the um, quartz bead so that they're both exiting one of these. Then on both threads, so on either side, you're adding another seed bead. And then you cross your threads over through the final oh, crystal look. bead, like that, mm -hmm. quartz bead. So that's your five point star. That's lovely. And doesn't it work so yeah, well and with it, quartz? And if you look at that, that's kind of like one half plus, yeah. plus the part of the edges uh -huh. forming. Okay. So you can see this coming together. You can. Then, so we're now, we're now going to sort of turn it on its side. Then on one side, you're adding, so if you might, so imagine perhaps if we call it the left side and the right side. Yeah. On the left side, you've got seed bead. On the right side, you've got seed bead, one of your beads, seed bead, and then another of your um, round beads. And then you're going to cross your threads over through that one. Right. So it's important that it's that one. So that it makes that pattern again. So that, so you can start to replicate that pattern. Yeah. So this time, because it's kind of, this is going to, it's slightly tricky because it goes on, like, on its side here. Mm -hmm. So you can see on this one, mm -hmm. we've got little clusters of four along the edge. So, you know, if you've only got three that you need another one in there. Yeah. So the next step. Yeah, it's one of those patterns that is quite forgiving like that, isn't it? Because if you bring yeah. it up and it doesn't match, then you think, Aha. You can sort of see what it needs yeah. and work out where it needs to be. So I'm just going to add one of those seed beads into there. So you get that little cluster of four. So it must have to go through, if I can pick it up. The only thing with beading thread is it does fight back. So that one goes through there. Mm -hmm. Let me pull that together. Just trying to get it to the right point. Okay. While you get yours to the right point, Hannah, yep. we're going to give everybody the next colourway, which is the garnet. Okay. No? Garnet? Yes, it is. Thought I read your mind there. Uh, well, it was one or the other, wasn't it? Now, <laughs> let's pop that there. Yeah, so we're going to very quickly give you this because we want to get back to the demonstration. I do apologise for interrupting it. And do stop if you get to an essential point. Okay. <laughs> now, beautiful, deep, deep, deep. Merlot tones on this gorgeous garnet. You've got the lava beads and this time you've got the gold. Don't forget you will get the instructions with this as well. Everybody gets those for free and this is what you can make plus more. We're going to very quickly give you your um, your details because we, uh, we are conscious that we need to get back to the demonstration. I do thoroughly apologise for interrupting the demonstration. ISX C69, your red pomander with the garnet and the lava rock. You get your Atos in your Mikey beads. Oh, something dropped. <laughs> Let's give you your price, 0800 644 com, or you can tap the app. So this time you've got Garnet, January's birth gemstone. Here it comes. ISXC69 is your item code. I think this one looks very rich and luxurious, doesn't it? Agreed, yeah, and that gold as well, and, it, and, the, and the, that deep red, it's just so Christmassy. You know, sometimes people have like sort of, um, kind of gilded fruits and things you know, in, a, in a bowl on the oh, table. You could do like your yeah. own sort of bejeweled version of that, couldn't you? Ooh. Just have them, just as a decoration, but, but also as like, like the potpourri or, oh, you know, lovely. to scent the room. For under 20 pounds with all that garnet is such know, a great price. I know, it's gorgeous garnet that as well. Yeah. You get that in, in like that lovely um, kind of soft lighting. It's like a rouge noir. Yeah, yeah. gorgeous. 1995 ISX C69. So that's that version. So we're going to continue on with the demonstration just now, and then I'll bring you the amethyst one in a sec. Uh, the one that we're using, we, Hannah's using, is on the bottom <laughs> of your screen. Um, I apologise for interrupting. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see it. I'm thinking I should have done one that wasn't the clear one, but never mind. No, you can really see so, it. Okay, so we've got, this is where we, we picked up from before. So there's one seed bead you've added there. Then on your threads, each thread has got uh, one of the seed beads and then I've got another of my round beads 
and I'm crossing my thread through that bead. Okay, so it kind of alternates between Cradles whether you're using them. seed beads or um, whatever your, your gemstone is. So again, at this point, if I hold it on its side, you can, you can see we've, we're kind of building an edge and there's a section there which obviously needs a seed bead to follow the pattern. So we just put one in there and pass the thread through the next bead along. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it's repeating the process. So it's a seed bead on both sides. One on there. Is that all one thread? I've got, I've got another. Can I give you that one a minute? Of course. <laughs> so I don't get tangled up with it. Seed bead on either side and another round. And I'm going to cross my threads through that round. Like that. And then I'm going to do the same again. So it's, it's repetitive in that, um, I think that's the second time I've done that. This is the third time I'm doing it now. So I'm adding one seed bead onto the left hand thread and then passing it through the next available bead in your pattern. Passing that. It is trying to fight back with the tension. You do want to make sure that the tension is there so that you have the actual pomander shape. And then I've got a seed bead on each side and another of my clear quartz. But before I close that up, I'm going to pop one of the uh, lava rock beads in. So this is at the point where I would pull this tight and it will pull the, the pattern together and close it up. Uh -huh, but you don't want that yet. So I'm just going to get one of these little guys that we've, we've put the scent Ooh, on. They smell glorious. I'm literally just going to pop it in there, mm -hmm. give it a little push, and it's it should fit nicely. And then you can close this up and it will encase it. Perfectly. And yes, you do. In answer to your question, Sarah, everybody gets them with every kit. Yes. Yeah, so, so the thing, the, the bit I'm demonstrating now isn't um, in the instructions. The instructions are for the, the big pomander. Okay. Um, this are they not the same then? The shape. Apart um, from the, the number of beads. Similar, similar kind of process, um, but obviously you're working to a sphere rather than a, just two sides. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a, a grander scheme one. Okay. Okay. So we've got to the point where you've got to zip it up now. So... On this side, I've got one side of the, um, the pomander, which should have five um, beads to make mm -hmm. the flower. Mm -hmm. So you know that needs to be a bead in there. On this side, it's the edge. And you can see I need one seed bead to complete that section as well. So it really does help you if, you, if you're aware of the pattern that, that it's following to just replicate that. So I'm adding one seed bead on the right hand side and passing it through to complete that floral shape there. Mm -hmm. And one seed bead on this side. Get it through there. And I'm gonna pass that through that one there. And pull them close. And you'll find it's not quite closed. We've still got an open side here. Mm -hmm. And this flower isn't as, um, as neat as the, as the original. Okay. Okay. So this one, you can see the pattern only requires one more seed bead to close it up. So we're going to cross the threads through the seed bead. So we're going to pop this one on. Both in. Whoops. One through there, one through there. And then it's just a case of uh, neatening it up and closing this, this final section. So if you hang on to the one thread tightly and then go for the thread that is nearest the, the, the flower that, that needs to be um, reinforced, if you like, there. So pass that through. And I'm literally just going to do a loop through all of these central um, seed beads. This is a little more tricky because obviously you've got a number of threads through them. And sometimes it's easier if you sort of um, actually you sometimes you like use um, the end of like a pair of tweezers or something mm, just to and make just sure grab that the, it and pull it yeah, through. Yeah, just well, just to make or sure. Or a bit of a thread, flat nose plier or something. Yeah, flat nose plier would work. Just something so so that um, the thread doesn't get stuck underneath them. The other thing with beading thread is like if you see there, it's if I pull that, that will kink. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so I'm just, just twist trying it. to make sure it's not kinked. It's going to fight back. I might have to get pliers in a minute. Oh, no, there we go. Some tweezers it's all right. here. It's all right. It's okay. gone through. It's gone through. 
So I'm literally just going through all of them. Just gonna use the fingers in the way. And this one, nearly there. I think I've got a couple more to get through. Plenty of time. So there's that one. And it just makes it nice and neat and nice and tidy, isn't it? And then you can you can really appreciate the, the pattern then. And obviously, because it's a decorative item, you really do want it to look like what it's supposed to look like, mm. you know. Okay, I'm going to force that one through there. Okay, so that's closed that side up, so it's now symmetrical to that one, or the same Perfect. as that one, the mirror image. And then all I want to do, because what I've done with, with these is, is um, added a little loop at the top, is just make sure that you feed this thread back up until you, you're coming out of the, the top of it. Okay. So passing it through one of the larger beads because it's a faster route. And then and that can go up through that seed bead and in through that beautiful clear quartz. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it's it so really is. shining. And then this one I'm going to pass through the, in the other direction as well. And then you can make a loop if you wish, or if you've got a, um, enough thread, you can then turn that into a necklace like I did with the, the one on the bust over there. So it's literally just working it all the way through until both of the threads come out of the same bead, but from opposite sides. So make sure it's not knotted. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So all, I've, all I did with this one, um, I've added some more of the beads and then, um, in fact, I don't think this one is, uh, yeah, I'll borrow that one a second. Sure. If I show you on here, this ah, is one, this one, one of the large ones. On one. So that one has got a crimp bead underneath it and yeah. then a crimp cover just to hide it and it just, and it just makes a neat little loop. Uh -huh. Or if we look at the one that's on the bust, if I pinch that one a second. Um, so I've just turned that into a necklace. You've got inside it, have you? Yeah, so, so this is essentially the threads that are coming out here. You could then carry on beading on either side and make it into a necklace and then, and then it's just a normal clasp on the end. Perfect. So you've got, you've got options. And then again, as um, I can't remember who asked earlier, but we're talking about topping up the, um, the scent on, on the, uh, the lava rocks. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. It's just literally drop it through one of the gaps I would recommend you do it over like at some tissue paper or something, or something because yeah. it, like until it's actually um, absorbed in, um, it, it could, could it could it off. could come off and it and it could uh, wipe round. So just make sure it's actually soaked in before you actually put it near any clothing or fabric uh -huh. or anything like that. Go over it but with yeah, something absorbent. But if you're hanging it on a tree yeah. or putting it in a display, then it really doesn't matter. Perfect. That's fine. Thank and you that's so how much. You make those. Love it. <laughs> Don't forget, every kit does come with the free the download. Don't yeah. forget. And we've still got your amethyst kit to come yet, so let's give you that. Let's move this all out of the way, the ones. And we've got some more lava rock to give to you too. Because I think you're gonna go lava rock mad <laughs> after this. We have got, if you're into chakra bracelets, we have got um, a brand new never been look at this. Can you hear it? I, I, yeah, I can hear it. All of the lava rock. Um, no. Fantastic. Eight strands of lava rock coming up in a mo. But let's give you the amethyst version. So you've got your lava rock, your gorgeous amethyst eight mil rounds, and you've got your silver eight O's. Plus you get the download. No, it's not a download, it's a print off. <laughs> Plus you get the print off instructions as well. That comes in your kit. There we go. They will look just like this. Except a little bit less creased because you haven't had me <laughs> grabbing hold of them. Okay. I just quite like this one, it's just an alternative because I've, I've gone for golds with most of them. I just fancied a silver one because not, not everybody does the, the gold thing, you know, so. A lot of people have silver on yeah. their Christmas tree. And in fact, silver and purple is a big thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've seen quite a lot of um, like really beautiful decorations and things in garden centers and, and the silver and purple quite often sits together. And sometimes with really like baby pinks as well. Yeah, yeah, oh, a bit of everything, I, anything I, goes. I've never seen a pink Christmas tree until this year. Anything goes. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna give you a fabulous opportunity. It smells so good. OVX at <laughs> C18, your purple pomanda. I think this one might be your favorite because you love a bit of purple. I love purple, yeah. I love a bit of purple. It's gonna be popular, this one, isn't it? Uh, so we're gonna go under 20 pounds for this. Of course we are. Yay! 
which means that many of you can enjoy that fabulous price. Lots of you have already, 10% already gone. Sheila, Mary and Jerry, Carolyn, Lisa, Sandra and Alison and Julie and Rose and Penelope, you've already come in. Anne in Staffordshire, uh, jewelry maker in Berkshire, Berkshire or Berkshire? Berkshire. I think it's Berkshire, isn't it? Not yeah. Berkshire. No. Uh, 1995 because it's spelt Burke. Yeah. But, but it's there's Bark. Lots of, there's lots of places that. Berkshire. That's how we should <laughs> say it. Uh, OVX <laughs> C18, your purple pomander uh, for just 19.95. Uh, do come in for that one quickly. We don't want anyone missing out. Massive amount of you uh, are checking out baskets. Well done, Susanna. Well done, Hilda. Uh, jewelry maker in Gwynedd, jewelry maker in Essex, collector in uh, Oxfordshire. Uh, you, you've got to you've got to grab it fast while you can. I can't wait to see everybody. Uh, I, I can't I wait really to, want to see to, pictures. I want to hear what, what yes. um, scent you've put in these yes. as well. Um, I think it's going to be, I think these will be really well received with your customers if you are selling on. I yeah. just think well, it's a lovely if idea. If you've got something that, that smells nice, it attracts people to, like if you're doing a craft fair, it will attract them to the store anyway because mm -hmm. they're coming to see what, oh. what smells nice. It smells nice. delicious, what's yeah. It? What's that? Where's the candle? Oh, it's no, not, it's, it's that. It's not a candle. Aha. So you can leave so this on your tree and not ornament. go out and think, yeah. yikes, I'm going to have to go home because I think mm. I've left a candle going. Mm. And you know you know what those cats are like. OVX C18. <laughs> My cat, yeah, she'd <laughs> knock it off and then it would be like, woof. You just, uh, you know, you just can't leave a candle, can't leave a naked flame going. Not in my house. Now, shall we do that lava rock? When are we going to do the lava bead yeah. bundle? In a second now. We've, uh, we've got a few more left. Please act fast. We've been delighted to give you um, all of these different, um, all of these different versions. Um, and we want to give you a recap on the clear quartz one. Is that what you're saying? Right. Yeah. Okay. So the clear quartz so one was with the and that. Ba 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 you do need to be quick with this one, though. And again, don't forget, isn't the photography Look, lovely? I love what you've done there. Do you Sorry, know what? Andy. The photography is all by Sam. He's fantastic. He's really good at, at staging things for, for photographs to make them just look amazing. I'm very grateful to him. He, he's also tweaked all the photography of me that you've ever seen splashed all over the, the, uh, the style magazine. By tweaked? Still, he did not <laughs> tweak the, it. Some of, the, some of the lines. And he cool. didn't. There's no filter <laughs> on there. You look gorgeous all the time. I was just going to say, that, that that's one that I've not put... Um, um, a crimp cover on yet so you can actually see where I've, where ah. I've finished it right at the top yeah, yeah look. so so right at the top that that's the crimp so that's when the so that's how you finish um the the bigger commander mm -hmm. I, you could put seed beads on here if you wanted to I've just left it as wire because I'd, I'd wanted it almost to look invisible from a distance um and then and then it's just a crimp in the middle and you pass the threads through the crimp um, and then crimp it before you trim them and then you hide it by and you cover it with a crimp cover like that fabulous Yeah, it looks great now yeah. I think it's time do you I think it's time we're gonna do That lava rock the biggest lava rock bundle I've ever seen if you're into chakra bracelets We're about to give you something you absolutely are going to go crazy for It's time for the star by lava bundle <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know. Now, <laughs> look at those colours. This is such a brilliant uh, collection. And oh, you know, we were talking about those country. Those look how gorgeous those two are. I know. Together. I know. It's very hot in here, by the way. Uh, then, just thought I'd, I'd tell you that. You have got. Are you boiling hot in here? I, I'm always hot with a hat on. I, I wear a hat outside just to keep how me hot warm. It is, isn't yeah. It? yeah. <laughs> uh, now. I've never seen a bundle like this. If you're into doing your chakra bracelets, this is for you. If you are loving the idea of having anything you can put essential oils on, this is for you. You make beady beads with essential oils you if could, you want yeah, to. The whole thing could be scented, couldn't it? Instead of just the one in the middle. 
We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strands. Eight strands. That's a lot of and beads. And they're long. That's a they're lot of beads. long strands. I'm a big fan of these. I really like the little ones. So do I. They're really cute. Go straight in a bracelet. Yeah. Simple stretchies all day long. So we're talking about this strand here. That's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Being able to pop that, um, being able to pop that essential oil on top of these is just such a, a lovely idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not all about that, but it is for me. I think it's just a different take on it because normally when we're looking at gemstones, we're looking at the, the color and the shape and whether or not it's. Um, well, we, basically, we're not normally looking to see if it's porous. They're so, looking like they look so, like little natural sponges, so, so, don't they? Yeah, it, it is like a natural sponge. So, so, so but it's not soft. It's still hard. No. Even when you put the oil in, yeah, it doesn't so, stay so, hard. So that one's soaked in now. So, so it's not coming off on my fingers or anything. And it's not hard. Because it's and it's not in. soft. Sorry. Yeah. So you can do that with any of these. Look, any any essential oil of your choice. I did that on purpose so you could see it still had that bounce, <laughs> so it's not soft and it didn't just go splat. Ooh. Oh, it smells it so good. It smells very festive in here now. <laughs> okay, so if you are in for this, you need to get in for it quickly. Here you go, QUXC26 Hot Lava. Your Super Saver Bundle Hot Lava. It's not hot, don't worry. Uh, now, £70.95 is your should be price. If we look at the individual prices that these have gone for before, put it together, that's a decent price. Yeah. It's not today's price. This Brilliant. is a star buy. Brilliant. And you know what? It's a Saturday night. Oh. So we've got to excite Saturday you. Saturday night discount. I like that. I like it too. Da da da. Not, not anymore of that. We can't afford the royalties. <laughs> QUXC26, not $70.95, but we're going to give you a star buy price. I can see you lining up already. You can do it one of three ways on the phone, on the website, jurymaker.com, or you can tap the app, which is free to download in all the app store ways. Where do you think it's going to go? I don't know, actually. Is it is $34.95. good. <laughs> That's like half price, isn't it? That's you're saving than more than price. you're spending again. Yes, I, I love like it that. when I save more than I spend. <laughs> Does not happen often. QUXC26, and I can see loads of you coming through. Apps. So we've got these. Um, how can they be eight? I suppose they are a little bit um, not round, aren't they? Eight by nine millimeters, one of these was. Like that one's like, aren't they rustic? Aren't they gorgeous? They're lovely. These could go around a candle that you don't want, to, a flameless candle, you could put them around, around that. They'd look fantastic if you, if you know the macrame plant holders that, of old that used to I be do. everywhere? They I do, I do, back. I do. I've seen them they in are loads back. of different interiors Fully magazines. Back. You could put, like, put these and then have just uh, like multicolors, different arrays. You can mix and match the colors. You can pick your favorite colors. You can match your decor at home. Absolutely. I Brilliant. love that idea. And you can scent them. Oh, I love that you can scent them. You can have a fake plant that smells like it's real in your, in your macrame holder. <laughs> it's always spider plants that I'm come more, out of there. I'm more excited than anybody else. It's about such that. a 70s I'm, thing, isn't I it? Know. I like that idea. No, but I like it when you get excited about it. Retro chic, darling. <laughs> retro chic, they're... darling, yeah. Yeah, 70s is so retro now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 90s yeah, no, is retro no, now, no, yeah. 90s yeah. retro. <laughs> it's not, is it? No, 90s no, aren't think, retro. I think are it they? is. I you can't remember now. the 90s, Ben. You're only little. Ah, 90s. He was born in 92. I was 12 then. Was a back to get ready for clubbing. <laughs> oh, see, you, they missed out on all of the benefits of, you know, fake ID. Uh, QUX, <laughs> can't do that anymore, which is a very good thing. QUX C26, uh, your hot lava super saver bundle. Uh, Jewelry maker in Wiltshire, Julie, you've got yours. Anna, Lise, Norma, Anne, Kathy, and Neela. Barbara, Jennifer, Mary and Jerry, Sally, um, Annalise, uh, Sally, you've got yours. Cambridgeshire, you've got yours. Make sure you're checking out baskets. This star buy has been fab you last. We've got more for you. We've got more lava rock for you as well if you just want to buy one or two strands. Um, but this one is the only bundle. That's, that's the, yeah, the bonanza. Look at that. Oh, you made it. a great big piece. They smell of nothing wonder, right you now. Know, um, I wonder if you could set them into candles if you're if you're a candle maker. You have to be careful if you're going to burn them. 
See, I've done something. Yeah, I've but, done some candle yeah. making before, and when I asked the lady if you can push things in, she said you can, but not you can't burn it. Ah, oh, okay, okay. You've got to be really careful. <laughs> yeah, because I don't you want don't, to do anything that's yeah. dangerous. <laughs> yeah, you can, but you can leave it as a scented candle with these in it. Okay, I'd imagine. So just have these around the outside edge, and, mm. and they're not actually part. Unless of the something's candle. tried and tested, you should be very careful about what you burn. Okay. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. There we go. Now. I love a candle and I, I love these. I love a candle. I, I, <laughs> my husband thinks I've got a problem with candles. <laughs> oh, every time Mark annoys me and he's trying to get back in my good books, he buys me candles. Oh, well, that's fine. I've that's start, fine. Well, it is, but I've started getting fake grumpy and I've got to stop that because I'm, I'm like annoyed at, I'm annoyed at that. Do you and he's get like, candles for fake grumpy? Hmm? Do you get candles yeah, for fake yeah. grumpy? Yeah, he can't bear it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give you fireline. Fireline. Um, now, some fireline. So this is brilliant for beading techniques. Uh, you've got uh, eight pound fireline. Both eight pounds. One in white. One in black. I'm sure I did one of these with fireline. Yeah, that one. Oh. Yeah. With your white fireline. So yeah. one of these. Uh, so you can easily use fireline, yeah. can't so you? So exactly the same technique, but with needles on the end of your fireline. So, in, in fact, this could give you an opportunity to do it with fine beads as well, couldn't it? Yeah, it, make, it makes it softer as well. So, if you're using it for um, jewellery, um, it, it's, it's not, I mean, I mean, these are fairly Rigid. sturdy things, yeah. aren't they? You like might a sandbag. Be, yeah. That, that's just got <laughs> a little bit softer. Be careful anyway. We mustn't. Sorry. Sorry, darlings. Okay, fourteen ninety five. That's a brilliant price for the two together. Yeah, Fireline is probably the most expensive style of beading thread material you it's can use. It's great though. But because it. it's so sturdy, it's worth that extra it really investment. Is. Really is. Mm. It, it's um, and you've got lots of fibres to it. It's from Beadsmith, um, who of course are one of the market leaders in all things jewellery making, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are. And, and also, if you bought any of the seed bead kits from earlier, and you're not, like, you might you might do your uh, trinket box and your uh, tags, then you'll have beads left over, mm. so you can then use that to carry on making jewellery with. Mm -hmm. Fourteen ninety five, not half a bad price. Uh, so fifty yards in each there as well. So next up, we're going to give to you. We're not. We're running out of time, aren't we? So yeah. let's. Which number? <gasps> well, I like them all, but let's go for the multicolored one. Because this is, so we have sort of smaller really versions. Like of this. Yeah. I know that you were quite delighted with these ones, yeah. weren't you? It just makes me happy. My, I like uh, the multicolored. Yeah. And if you only want to make one or two pieces, um, get this because you can spread the colours. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But I really like them. I, th I think because they're all sort of earthy, rustic versions of themselves. They are. They sit well together, don't they? They do. They really do. And you could make quite a masculine piece out of some of them. I think the green and the mustard together um, look really country. So this, th that's a, yeah, they yeah. are nice country colours together. Them, aren't they? They are. I love the country. I do. GJP O sixty three. That rhyme. It does. Six ninety-five. Great brilliant. opportunity. And That's again, brilliant. if you think, oh, I can't invest in that bundle today. Um, here we go, pocket money price for you again uh, for something that's going to delight you because it is going to be, um, it, it is slightly porous so these will take on essential oils. And this could just go straight into a bracelet but it could go to something else as well. Yeah. I'm could so making decorative. those macrame hanging things. I'm, I, I don't know how to make them properly yet. I've well, got, I think I've you got should an idea. I want you in a whole macrame outfit by I the time yeah. I see you next. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> a macrame bedspread the lot. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the plant pot holder. <laughs> if, you're, if you're watching us from America, of course, we're talking about what you call macrame. macrame. Yes. I did not know what macrame was. I was like, what are they talking about? Oh. I thought it was a fish. Uh, Six ninety five. <laughs> A macrame with some green beans sounds delicious. I hope somebody's making notes of some of the things you say. Well, it does it sound may, like it a may, fish, it though. Make a, it'd make a, a cracking uh, book, a great read of like. It would be a gobbledygook. Yeah, Jenny is. <laughs> Codswallop. Codswallop. Do you remember that? You could call it that. Codswallop by Jenny Cleary. <laughs> <laughs> the names, the, the words they used thing. to have <laughs> in the old days are just so much cooler, aren't they? Cod wallop. Stuff and nonsense. GJPO <laughs> 63 Malarkey. Uh, 6.95, lots of you in for that one. It's lovely, lovely <laughs> to have you here. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving in the motions. Um, which, where would you look? You call it sky blue, but I'd say it's more of a pool blue. 
Yeah, sky blue for me would be lighter. Mm, yeah, no, I, I, it depends. Because the other blue was really sort of like a royal blue, wasn't it? Yeah. And then there's like a navy one. It's like a London blue, isn't it, Gil? London. It's London, isn't it, Gil? <laughs> Look, this is... It's blue. <laughs> it's blue. Uh, the world's favourite colour, according to um, surveys that yeah. are done. I haven't done the surveys, no. but apparently. I've heard that too. <laughs> £6.95. Well, I think it's based on purchase, isn't it? People's purchases, people tend to, to, to purchase blue. And I think not many... There's no skin tone that blue doesn't look good with, right? Hair tone, skin... Everyone can well, wear blue, isn't it? It's, it's uh, like, it's, well, denim. Every, there's nearly yeah. everybody has something denim, don't they? Yes. So it's blue, and then there's the sea and the sky, so it's the, the tie to nature, maybe. Yeah. Oh, we know. love the sea and the That's sky, quite, it's don't It's probably we? some subliminal thing built into us as, as a species. I wonder what the first colour we see is. Oh. Probably, probably whatever colour our mother's skin is. <gasps> <coughs> £6.95. No, actually, we don't see properly for days, no, do we? No, no. How do we know we don't see colour? They don't ask a baby, can you see any colour there? <laughs> Can't, do they? <laughs> like, come on, how do we know that? <laughs> no. Are you all right there, baby? Can you see me in full colour? <laughs> <laughs> Squeak once for yes. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. How do we know? Do you... I'm not doing the baby go on, go on. No, go no, on. I can't. You can. I can't. <laughs> That's it. LKP035. They always make me do stuff I don't want to do. What do you mean it's guttural? What does that mean? Guttural to the gut. I don't know. I think maybe... You know people who, who can throw their voices on the other mm. side of the room to distract people? Yeah. Like it was a skill to... I don't know, people... What's that called? Uh, uh, I don't know yeah. what it's called. People used to do it um, anyway in the olden days, didn't they? Maybe in, I was a voice thrower back in the day. Yeah. Maybe. Which makes me think maybe I descend from criminals. I'm not sure. Now, <laughs> I'm sure I don't. I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Let's go. Because <laughs> why else would you so learn you, that? So, you know, when you said you've got the cafe of people waiting to talk to you, they're <laughs> yeah. going to be telling you off now. <laughs> no, they're definitely not. My gran, was, my gran was really posh. She was a debutante. Who? Oh. Oh, it was, in, um, it was in the second one you said. Now. It's purple, darling. Perps. It's the little purple ones. They're cute. The colour of creativity, they call it. Aww. And this is a lovely shade of purple. I think quite a lot of us favour this tone, don't we? It's lovely. I think we all go through a purple phase in life. That's just my opinion. Maybe. I think everyone goes through a phase where purple becomes a colour that they're really madly attracted to. Oh. <laughs> I think everybody goes through a purple phase. I'm about to go through mine. I think yeah, Georgia I'm... doesn't like purple though, and she's in the kit team, so maybe she's not old enough to be like in that it. phase. I don't like it. Have she never? <laughs> have she never sauntered through a lavender field? And... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think she'll go through. I never used to like purple. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I love it now. Ah. I think it's like olives. Uh, yeah. You think you don't like them, but you grow to love them. Yeah. Yeah. I have to admit, I never, I never used to like um, kind of like coral pink with turquoise, and now it's it's my go-to. Isn't yes. it funny? Yeah, we go through phases in life, don't it's we? Funny, things isn't we it? like to eat, things we like to do, things we like to see. It's a phase. Yeah. Like now, if somebody said let's go clubbing, I would be like, I am not doing that. I'm not yeah. coming with no, you. No. I'm not. I don't want to. <laughs> don't, I just I don't, don't want to. to. No. I don't belong there. I'm the same. Whereas back in the day, oh, yes. you only had to ask yeah. me once. I'd be there with my hot pants <laughs> and, and the dealy boppers. Yeah. 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 yeah, I can't think of anything worse. Can you? Yeah, unless it's a Christmas party. I don't even know if I can be bothered I, to do I, that. Yeah, to be honest, because that, you know that's kind of in the spirit of things. And <gasps> yeah, but just just because, nah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Glass of wine. Five ninety five. Okay, Tell fine. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah. I said, somebody said it's our this age year too. for um, Christmas party, we're going to supply you with the most deliciously comfortable socks. The minute you slip your foot into it, you feel like you're in heaven. Uh, some mulled wine, an amazing movie, and comfortable Sold. sofas and I'm blankets. There. I'd be like, I can't wait for this Christmas party. <laughs> ben can't think of anything worse than being comfortable, which is very curious. Now. Oh, he does not want to snuggle down. <laughs> doesn't want to snuggle down with certain members of our team. <laughs> Would you snuggle me? No. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it like that. <laughs> Can you imagine? Jenny, I, you're asleep I on did, me I and I work mean, with you. I didn't mean the Christmas party should be that. I, I, I meant... <laughs> I'm OK it's with nice it. It's nice to do that as an alternative. 
I'm okay with anyone seeing me in snuggle mode. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And you're allowed to bring pets if you want. Yeah, well, they're part of it, aren't they? Part of the yeah. snuggle. It'll be a snuggle off. That's what it'll be called. The Christmas snuggle off. Yeah, that should be a thing. Yes, the Christmas that should snuggle be a thing. off. And we can all go, mm, snuggle at each other while we do it. <laughs> I used to do that to my kids. If I, this is really weird, but if I go up to Max and he's 14, or Mia, who's 18, and go, mm, they'll go, mm, back at me. Really? It's so weird. Aww. We've all got weird things. Every family has a weirdness, don't yeah. they? And that's ours. Because when we used, I used to let them come in my bed when they were little and we used to pretend to be guinea pigs because it would get them back to sleep. And I'd say, let's snuggle like guinea pigs. Mm. We'd be Aww, guinea pigs and it would, and really I'd say, go cute. to sleep, guinea pigs, be go to sleep. And we'd all go, mm, mm. and then they'd fall asleep and I'd be like, yes. <laughs> ZHP 030. <laughs> There's ways and means, parents. It's all got to be, just Brilliant. pretend to be guinea pigs. <laughs> I know it's 10 o'clock in the morning oh and we're my supposed to be out. gosh. Well, not really, because Max used to get up at six, and I'd be like, oh, it's guinea pig o'clock. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to try that. <laughs> I can I can recommend... Will, Williams at six o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah, like, so was Max. Oh, wait, I mean, Daddy, yeah. no. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm really hungry. <laughs> guinea pigs don't eat yet. <laughs> now, <laughs> try that. I will. Um, now, you've got to name the guinea pig and everything. OK, we can okay. do that. I'm going to try that. I really am going to try that. I mean, if you need some bath time um, tips as well, I'm there. Oh. I used to struggle to get Max in the bath to wash oh, no, himself. He's, he's all right with that. Because I was the yeah. Mumatron 2001. <laughs> Have you heard about that? <laughs> no. I used to put Max in the bath and he'd be terrible, like not wanting to wash. <laughs> and I'd be like, welcome to the Mumatron 2001. To wash your hands, press nose. To wash your hair, press ears. He'd always go for nose. The kid did not want his hair washed. Oh. Until he had to press ears because it's the only one left. The and I'd be like, bit, you yeah. have selected hair wash. And I have to do it like a robot the whole time. You're not allowed to slip out of character, though, or they go mad. <laughs> £5.95 pence for this. WEP098 is your item code. At six by seven millimetres. See, these aren't quite rounds, which I quite like as well. These are, um, they're like little planets, aren't they? They're like little moons. They're little like the moons. moons. Oh. Moon. Oh. They're the moons. They're super it. cute, though, they? They are super cute. Like the guinea pig game that I hope most of us jewellery makers are playing right now at home with us. Uh, I think everybody's getting involved in the um, in the Great British Snuggle Off as well. Uh, Sarah in, in the Shire, um, you've got yours, Sarah in Gloucestershire. Uh, Andrea uh, in Hertfordshire. Tina, Pauline. Uh, we've got Kathy, Sally, and Julie. Thank you so much for your company here on the Late Show. We have had such a fantastic time. Um, I've had a great time. It's gone with really you. fast. Hasn't well, you've it? taught us ways. Thank fun. you. We've learned how to do a pomander, and we know that there is a word called pomander. And everything smells of Christmas now. Everything smells of Christmas. <laughs> We've discussed the snuggle off, and we are now going to put uh, plans into place. <laughs> Uh, we're talking about yeah. We've we've covered most of the um, of the spectrum of genres, haven't we? The important things in life. Indeed. Now, yeah. when are you back with us? Talking of important things. Um, I am back. Uh, when am I back? I'm on the thirtieth. I think it's a November. Yeah, I, I believe it's like a. It's a Friday, the, isn't it? Like a Black Friday thing or, or a sale thing? Or no, it's, it's a Saturday. It's a bonanza. It? The 29th of, yeah. is Black Friday. Yes. It's a Fast and Furious kind of thing, I it's think. It's Super Saturday after Black Friday. It could be... Is there a colour beginning with S? Cyber. No. Sabre Saturday. No. <laughs> I don't know. Sable Saturday. We love you. Good night. <laughs> God bless. Mwah! Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our Breakfast Club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker.
Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide